やな Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Yes. <laughs> Piss nerd. <laughs> Fuck us up, Drew. Mm. We're doing this. Yeah. Who cares? I know. Like, we're, it's so funny because, like, I can tell you guys, I know I'm tired and I know I can, I can see you and hear you <laughs> and you're tired. Yeah. But, like, I'm also like, very excited. No, 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 me yeah. too. But it's yeah. just like, it's just like, I, I, I want to be here. <laughs> I want to be here. <laughs> so I'm just trying to, like, yeah. Oh. Oh. Also, there's like a PBR shortage apparently on the whole fucking planet. So I got Coors Light. Damn. So, I don't know. Um, speaking of beer, can you grab me a couple? Yeah, I was going to grab oh, you. There you go. See? Very good. I meant to get ice, but I didn't do it. Um, okay. So, I figured let's just start off right off the bat. I got, I've been sitting, <laughs> I've been sitting on some fucking gas station stories. Okay. And one of them, two of them are pretty stupid. Um, like nothing entirely crazy. Um, actually, let me see. Let me review. Oh yeah, I got two. So the so Let me review. <laughs> well, I have to figure out what exactly because I I don't ever write that shit down. So the the other day, oh, these taste so good, <laughs> uh, especially after a long day. Like, <laughs> and maybe it was all the concrete dust that was in my mouth or whatever. But goddamn, this yeah. tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, you know, what? cheers, buddy. Cheers. Sorry about last week, but I was not feeling hot oh, at all. It's all good. I'm, dude, the past three nights, I haven't been able to sleep, dude. Like, I, I just, I, the other night, uh, Sunday, you know, we, for Mother's Day, we went out and did, oh, yeah, let's talk about that. Uh, we went out for Mother's Day. Yeah. Uh, we ended up going to Lydia, our, me and Brandy's sister-in-law's, uh, her brother. They had a baby recently, so they had a confirmation at, at church, and we did that. And then we went and got food. We went, <clears throat> and then I made like a whole Mother's Day dinner, you know, kind of thing. You know, nothing too crazy. But what dinner did you make? I wonder if it was better than mine. Well, the, it's crazy because we're we're trying to sell our house, so we're not trying to like <clears throat> everything is clean, like more so than it would be for average life. <laughs> you know, make it unlivable. You know, so like, yeah, no one lives here. You know, exactly. <laughs> so I. I was like, well, what do you want, baby? Because I felt bad because, you know, she, you know, you know, I, I know that's not exactly like, I wish I could do more. I wish, I, but, you know, like, you know, funds are tight sometimes. And, but I was like, well, we're going to do lunch. We're going to do this. And Autumn was pretty good all day. And I was like, well, what do you want for dinner? And she's like, let's just do pork chops and like a, a loaded baked potato. Mm. I was like, all right. And that sounds good, actually. I, I'm, the baked potato came out kind of crappy. I've never really done one before, but like the pork chops came out good. It was, Take much longer to cook than you think. Yes. So, the, you, so prepping wise, it can like really fuck up mm -hmm. the day. Yeah. <laughs> I think if I would have boiled them for a little bit first and then yeah. put them in, yeah. Or else they just would have taken. Did you do the fork method? Did you hit them a bunch with a fork before putting them in? N no, I kind of just made a little slit and I covered it in butter and salt and I wrapped it in a tin foil. So you're like the way I've always done it. Same thing with the tin foil with yeah. butter and salt, but you take a fork. And you just sh yeah. sh shank the so fuck gets, out of it. So it gets in there, yeah. And then, yeah. You, then you peel it yep. like halfway through and then cut it and then butter. Yeah. Yep. And that's what I try to but do. But it with. still takes forever. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> like, it's like that fucking, what's his name? <clears throat> Mitch Hedberg. He's like, I like baked potatoes. So sometimes, but they take forever. So sometimes I'll make them. By the t and even if I don't want one, and by the time they're done, who knows? <laughs> who knew? Who knows? Um, yeah. So what, what did you do? Did you do anything? Uh, we did lobster tail. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh Cut them open. Would you broil it in Butter the oven? Or? Them. Yeah, put them in the oven. Mm -hmm. And then um, we did that. Um, 
little red potatoes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love those. They corn. Like, yep, we uh, did corn Cajun, too. Cajun style corn. corn. <laughs> we already know. Uh, and then what I did, uh, and I'd never done this before, and I thought I almost fucked it up, and it was the best part, the bread. Uh, so I got a big fucking loaf kind of deal that was uncut. I love the word loaf. A loaf. <laughs> <laughs> Sop, anyway. Sop and hog of bread. Uh, and I cut. <laughs> Sop and hog. <laughs> That's my strip club. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I cut like super thick mm. pieces, right? And uh, because I like going like the seafood station and they had that bread and it's just like this. So it's not cut bread. It's just like a loaf. So I got a loaf of it and then I cut really thick pieces. Mm -hmm. And then what I did is is I uh, doused it in oil on both sides and I threw it in in the oven with the with the lobster for 10 minutes, took them out. And then I made like a butter uh, like marinade for the lobster. Mm -hmm. And then I brushed that butter yeah. on it, dude. Mm-hmm. And uh, I let it sit and it got like little, because it almost came out like, I'm like, fuck, I burnt this bread. I'm like, fuck, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> you like, fuck, I fucked this up, this bread. Yeah. And then it like came out uh, so good and Dallas was like, oh, this bread. And it's just like, dude, I, could, I got sick eating so much bread. Yeah. But um, no, it was good. She didn't want to do too much. Like one of the biggest parts of her day, she wanted two to four hours of uninterrupted reading time. Well, that's what kind of like what Brandy wanted you to know, do. Like so. she she just wanted to like do nothing. Mm-hmm. And obviously, you know, family, you know, when things happen, you got to do what you got to do. But it's like, my mom is super easy. My mom called me and I, and I felt bad because like I thought we were supposed to like make plans with her. And, I, and I, so I called her on Friday and I was like, Hey, so what do you want to do? She's like, oh, I, I'm in Georgia. I went up to our cabin. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm like, my mom just, she doesn't know what the fuck she wants. She yeah. goes away. <laughs> so that, that yeah, was- we, we went down to Apocalypse Coffee. You're not a big coffee guy, right? I, I'm not. I wish I was, but I only like iced coffee with like, mm. like I like hazelnut. Okay. So like, I, I just, but I'm not like a, I work with a guy that's like that. He has like all the- Jesus what the Christ. Fuck, dude. Let me turn we're, that off. we're in the studio, man. Well, I I, I, have, I don't I never have my phone off. Even in the basket right? at the door at the reception office, dude. I need like, to do come that. on, man. The prayer basket? <laughs> <laughs> um, you're not a big coffee guy. No, and I wish I was, but I I don't know. I do like iced coffee, but mm. you know, I'm not, you know. So, at Apocalypse, their their lattes are okay. I like extra like uh, espresso, like like That's what if I did You've heard of a culotta? Not not the cafe culotta, like the bullshit, but like the actual Cuban culotta. Oh, no. And it's like Cuban coffee, which is basically a pure espresso. And like yeah. they kind of froth it really. I don't know. It's really good. Cubans know. You guys know your fucking. Oh, yeah. You guys know your coffee and your cigars. So we're always angry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Cuban cigars. Oh, so but, good. dude, so I got this like uh, coffee shop version of like biscuits and gravy. It was okay. I would never get it again. But um, yeah, you got to have flow from like uh, progressive be your waitress in order to get biscuits and gravy. That's the only way it's good. <laughs> I want to smell the cigarette you just had on it. Exactly. You know, you know, like that's the kind of biscuit mm-hmm, gravy I want. Mm-hmm. But uh, Dallas got this uh, avocado toast. And it was so big that she couldn't finish all of it. I'm like, well, I don't waste food. Let me, I'll mm-hmm. eat your avocado toast. I am chasing that crave right now. Do you ever eat something that you haven't really had? Oh, Dude, I want to go. I want to go back like tomorrow and get avocado toast. We're going Saturday because I want that fucking brandy. Flavors. Brandy yeah. loves avocado toast, and I like avocados. Yeah, like I would just cut an avocado in half and put salt on it and eat it right out of the fucking thing. I might do that now. Like I, I, I I've never been a big avocado. It's a weird guy. thing. It's like once you, it's like sushi. Yeah. When I first, like I never had sushi. I always thought I'd hate it, and then I had sushi, and like I fucking love sushi. Oh, yeah. No, I, 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 uh, you would I spend too much money. Eat. Well, when I go to sushi, I get like three rolls and be like, oh, bro, I, it, I could easily spend a hundo mm-hmm. on sushi. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. So we didn't do anything too crazy, and you know, just you know, obviously. We're trying to sell our house, so, like, we're in, which it's awesome because I know, like I said in the last episode, we don't need to sell our house, like, or anything like that. There's just, our house is just not conducive to our life and, you know, all that. And yeah. Brandy's super happy now that we're really moving forward with all of it. And I am, too, because it's going to be better because I really want to build a studio. <laughs> like, just my, I just want to build, like, just this ultimate guitars. I just want to do all that, yeah. you know, just to... Get it done. So, yeah. Um, uh, but I guess real quick, <laughs> let me get these uh, gas station oh, yeah. out of the way. So, two quick ones. One, uh, 
there was like this lady, she only worked there for a week, which makes sense. Okay. Uh, I guess she was like trying to like- Is that your combo? Yes. Okay. Same Cumberland Farms. So she's talking to like this younger girl and she's like, I guess upset about something. And I did, I was just like kind of like mad because I'm like, oh my God, hurry up. And all, the only sentence I heard was, baby, I smoked rock for 14 years. It's okay. And I was like, oh. all right, well, there's one. <laughs> so then the other night, there's like, this, yeah. there's like this guy <laughs> and he's out front barefoot with jeans and a tank top on. Cool. Okay. Got it. And I was going to the store and he goes, hey, you bring a knife to a gunfight? And I said, what? And he goes, would you bring a knife to a gunfight? And I said, of course. And he goes, why would you waste your time? And I said, well, the gun makes it fair. The knife makes you learn a lesson. <laughs> He's like, no, oh, fuck. And I was like, and I did have my gun on me. So I was like, I don't know what you're asking me that question for. <laughs> okay, so here's the main one. <laughs> and dude, this was, this is better. That's than, a wild interaction to have with a stranger, by the way. Dude, but that's literally like, why would you ever ask me that question? Why would you talk to a stranger? Like, I will if, never if understand If it's you that. or Justin or, you know, Morgan, yeah. one of our friends, you yeah. know, like, yeah, it makes sense. Like, ask us those questions. But like, dude, like, you're a complete stranger. Not only are you barefoot at midnight uh, at a gas station, like, mm, yeah. I don't know. I was weird. Life choices weren't like made. That <sighs> and it happened yeah. to me on a night that I had to get gas. So like, I'm just like watching. I'm like, what is this guy doing? Yeah. Like, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> the, the other day, uh, same, same gas station. Have you ever been to like the gas station midday when like all the lawn guys? Yeah, yeah, are like up. they they yeah. park that they have that extension trailer and they all like they drive the things out. Of the the hop and pop is a pu is <laughs> like a hub for that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so this is really dude. This was like literally, I called my work and said I'm going to be five minutes late. I have to I have to finish this. I have to finish. I'm invested. I have to finish what okay. I'm watching. <laughs> so I'm I'm literally so I go to work and I, I always get like a little you know I get like a little energy drink and mm -hmm. like you know like a little peanuts or something. I, I love the hot peanuts. Oh, so. uh, yeah. anyway, so I'm at I'm at the gas. I'm I'm walking back out and I see like one of the guys, and I'm not saying anything, but you know who they are. <laughs> they, they they're driving the lawnmower out. Yeah. In one of those big industrial ones, you know, that they ride like this. And it's got a toe <clears throat> strap hanging out behind it. I'm like, that's weird. I was like, okay, why does it have a toe? Uh, whatever. So I don't know. The only lawnmowers I've ever done with in my life are like the push ones. Yeah. And like, I don't remember mine or the one I've ever used, like having like an option where like, like the blade was where the blade was. That was it. You can adjust but, like where and, the tires. That, yeah, and that's the only. Yeah. yeah, I don't know anything about these special red snapper, whatever they have, uh, whatever they. So, <laughs> so he's driving, and it's like this toe strap is. Like, it's like ten feet long, and it's like just like, like tentacling behind him, like a squid. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> and I don't know what happened. It, I don't know if the bla if the blades are spinning at that time or they're an idle. All I know is that <laughs> I'm literally like getting in my truck, <laughs> and I hear. Ah! Ah! <laughs> and I look over and I don't know what happened, but the toe strap got sucked up under the blade and it's whipping <laughs> cars in a gas tank. Just <laughs> spush, 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 spush. And dude, about 40 men screaming in Spanish. Oh my God. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Screaming, just like, <laughs> turn the shit off. And, I, and, I, and like, they couldn't turn it off. So I called my work. I was like, I'm going to be five minutes late. And I, it was only like a minute later. Like I guess I it got tangled up, and it's whipping. And, <laughs> and it's just, oh, it was. I just picture you just in your truck, just eating. Peanuts. Dude, I'm literally, like, I'm literally <laughs> eating a taquito, like <laughs> in my window down. Like, you guys need help? Great. No, you guys are fine. I'm oh, dude, but it was just, it was, but it's like, but it's like smacking the gas pumps. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those like two inch toe straps. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What the fuck is happening right now? That's fantastic. Yeah, that is funny. <laughs> that was way better than that time that Spectrum guy drove off with the gas pump still yeah. in his gas thing. But, you know, I don't know. I thought that was funny. I have a TikTok story. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> you harassing people again? Yes. So <laughs> I've, I've been on this like side of TikTok probably because I've been like, Mm. commenting and trolling uh, people. There's these small bands and um, not this episode, but next episode, I kind of want to dive into a few of them. But there's these these small local bands playing mm -hmm. in a local venue. It's a show, not a concert. Mm -hmm. And um, people just crowd killing, like fucking people up. That's right? like the new thing now, dude. I mean, but that's it, like the new no, thing. No, but, but it, okay, so crowd killing has been a thing 
forever. It's been it's been it's been a minute to where like it's been a thing. But right? now it's like the staple thing though. Like they think that's well now that now you can post know. a video on it and everyone thinks it's cool. Yep. You're but right. I'm fine with it. Mm-hmm. That's fine. You go to a beatdown show, you know the beatdown bands or whatever. You go to a hardcore show, that's what's going to happen. Like we went to one. You can expect it at least. We went I mean, to one. Two Piece was playing at uh, whatever. And I'm like, oh shit. Oh yeah, you told me about that. This one, is yeah. real, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so my favorite thing now is uh, going through the comic sections of these videos and people are like. <laughs> yeah, that won't happen if I'm around and like all this shit. I'm like, oh god, the no. uh, the warrior, the warriors coming out. <laughs> it's like, no, uh, <laughs> you wouldn't do shit. Like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I've been to these shows and I understand how it works. Well, okay, Melbourne, if Mel Crew, if Melbourne people, if, if enough Melbourne people show up to any show, they run that show. I've learned that back, back in the day. Back in the day, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're all older now, so well, it doesn't yeah. it doesn't happen all that much. But back in the day, like our 10, backs hurt. 12, 15 years ago, <laughs> if if you had six to twelve Melbourne people, you can go to Orlando, Tampa. I remember that. Yeah, it, yeah. it doesn't matter. They would run that pit, right? Yeah. I know who those people are. I mm-hmm. know what they would do to me. They won't do nothing to me because I know them. So I know yeah. going to a show and I see someone acting like that, like at that two piece show, I'm like, okay, I know that guy now. I know that guy now. I know that guy now. Don't fuck with those guys. Well, because yeah. those guys mean fucking business. Mm-hmm. Just because someone hits you at a fucking show doesn't mean you need a fucking brawl of that fucking guy. Yeah, it's a fucking show, dude. And there, there I, I got into this like uh, TikTok argument about it. And I'm like, you sound like a guy who has never been to a show before. But it's, it, and, and and hold on, let me get at this real fast. And he's just like, I'm just saying, He's going to catch a charge. I'm like, oh, so you would go to a hardcore show, get hit, and then call the cops on somebody? He's like, I'm just saying. I'm like, no, you don't need to be at that show. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That's just fucking insane. So dumb. Just don't go. It's not meant for you. It's meant for the people that want to be there and for that band. Or don't stand there. Just just don't. Well, to to be fair, there's no one safe in those shows. No, I know, but at the same time, if you're right on the edge of the pit, you know that. It's oh yeah, not, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. anything's gonna happen, especially by accident. Too. Yeah. I mean, you know, I don't know, but I also think that now it's it's kind I'm of sick. like I, this is what I want to gatekeep. It's, it's like the, it's the industry. Just don't yeah. fucking go to those shows. Stop bitching about it. It's just the, don't go. It's not your fucking thing. Go watch your seether. Go watch your street. <laughs> like shut the fuck up. Uh, yeah, but it, but it's almost like the industry standard. So and industry standard now though, like we're like n- n- younger kids coming up. Yeah, they automatically just associate and they think that oh, <clears throat> crowd killing is like what They're happens. Entitled. Yeah, and it's like well that doesn't happen at every show. No. Because even even like you know like at Furnace Fest, FYA, all these. I mean, I've been to some bigger. You know, we've been to one, and and I've seen some bigger shows. It's like, yeah, there's those you know people that are rougher on the edges. Which yeah, I mean, I'm kind of like that guy too. But I'm not like intentionally trying to. Now uh-huh. I don't care, but it's like, it, but there are people that think that crowd killing is the norm, and it's I, not. I've been to a lot of shows in my life, and crowd killing has never been the predominant thing. But I think now the, the the younger generation thinks that that's like the standard, and that's not the standard. No, it's a, it's it's it's. I would say it's specified to a specific few drawn genres, right? Like it's not just beat down. It's not just old school. Oh yeah, or, I'm not. You know, I'm there's, not going a, there's a few bands, and also it really depends on the outlook of that band. They they come off very ignorant. So we're gonna go see Cutthroats on Friday, if the vocals goes. Hey, fuck somebody up. You might see some crowd killing. No, I get you know, that. but like it's not going to be. They're not like you know what I'm saying. No, like, no, and you're totally right. But it's like you're right. There are certain like obviously if I if like we're going to go see Cutthroats on on Friday, which I'm super stoked. Very about. excited. I'm super stoked to go see them again because they're awesome. And I I lost my shirt, so I need to buy another one. Oh no, <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. I feel like you just wore it. I don't know, man. Anyway, I gave that to you. So yeah, I know. Um, I need to find it. But, you know, so I, I don't know. I, I was bitching last episode about, like, all this shit. Like, I don't know what to do. And it's, like, it, it's just so weird because it's, like— Stay in your lane. But man. it's it's no different than the—it's so, no different than the sociology of opinion. Like, because now everybody spends more time on the internet not doing the things that they want to do. They spend more time talking about it rather than actually going and doing those things. Like, which, okay, perfect Which example. is a problem. 
You, you've been seeing all this shit about terror mm -hmm. and Scott Vogel? <laughs> it's, I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's like, shut the fuck up. I know. And shut the fuck up. You got terror. Okay. Did you see all the text messages and shit like that from like, mm -hmm. or the, and all mm -hmm. the posts of the, like the, the video owner? Yep. Fuck you, dude, for not knowing the top, like all, like old school hardcore, like the, the staple band terror. Yeah. And booking them and not understanding. Yep. Like, fuck you. That's your venue. Do your fucking research. Oh, you know, it's a metal show. I just thought uh, throwing this. You're so dumb. It, like, don't get upset it's, about it's it. It's also weird, too, because I think, especially if you've been around for a long time. Did you see the video? Yeah. It's so dumb. I know. Scott if, just fucking threw the mic out, and then the security but, guard was but it's, like, it's, it's not so dumb. Remember how I was telling you about that That when I saw Every Time I Die in Counterparts at the the new, quote-unquote, Firestone? Firestone? Yeah. Like, what it is is, is like... They, <sighs> The security guards weren't expecting that. Like, they didn't, I don't think they were yeah. actually expecting kids to like climb. The thing is, is and I have to be, I'm going to have to compromise here a little bit. You do devil's advocate. I have to be because okay. it makes sense. As a, as a student, as a, if I was the owner of the club, yep. me, I don't care if they're people getting rowdy. I don't care. They came at their own discretion. That's their thing. Yeah. But when they're climbing on speakers and, and yep. things like the expensive items of For equipment, sure. like if they're just jumping off the stage, that's fine. I don't give a fuck. But I I, I can understand where like the, the mindset is of, hey, don't, this is our equipment. Don't destroy the equipment. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to be fair. And also at the same time, I'm like, well, you did book terror. So you what did you book terror? Yeah. But it's like, also, I'm not going to like, you know, build it's a like fucking hate breed and be like, oh, wow. Why are people so passionate? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, but, 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 uh, counter to that now, mm. I don't think hate breed has played a show where there wasn't eight feet in a guardrail between the stage in over 25 years. 25? I would say 25 You're years. calling 25 on I'm it. calling 25 years. I mean, I may be over, overzealous about it. The last time I saw them, <clears throat> the last time I saw them was with, God forbid, Acacia Strain wow. and fucking Hard Rock. And it was tits, dude. But again- Acacia Strain played with the guardrail? Yeah. The, it, it was the same concept because, I mean, again, oh. Hard Rock, bigger venue, you know, more liabilities. I guess, I guess with a venue like that. But, know, what I'm, but what I'm saying is, is yeah. like, when was the last time Hate Breed played a, 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 sh a place like Iron Oak? Well, no, I mean, like, well, that, that, that show, Terror, like, no, that no, they were I know, broadcasting. I, I know, I'm not trying to, like, take Hate sides. Hate Breed could have been know? on that bill, too. No, 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 you're right, they could have, but yeah. their status is up here. I mean, not that yeah. Terror isn't, but I'm just saying, like, you know, I mean, yeah. dude, they have Josta Festival now, for fuck's sake. You mean, yeah. I mean, but what I'm saying is, is, like, if, if your venue isn't accustomed to that all the time, then you don't expect it. But at the same time, they're not, dude, these people aren't researching. They're looking at- It terror. shows ignorance, though. 100%, because they, they probably just go online and they look up terror and they say, oh, they have like, oh, uh, 28,000 monthly listeners. Yeah, they're going to pull in crowds. They're going to pull in people. They don't, they, don't, they don't know. Or the promoter just didn't disclose that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, I He was like standing mm. behind a security guard, which mm. whatever, that's your employee. But like, mm. not that I think the security guard really did anything- else besides try to do like a cool guy move like not here you know or yeah, I, don't know. I don't think so bud or whatever dad move he yeah it was some kind of ego maybe involved i don't know but by the way tara has 147 000 monthly list okay well I, figured, I, mean? I figured it was a lot i'm just saying in general like it's like it, it's terror you know what i mean like it's one of the arguably one of the most notable hardcore bands in history you know what i mean like it, it like we were talking about household names like Terror is a household fucking name. You know, Knockloose just broke a million. No. Is that crazy? It is crazy. And they're also, they're, I don't know. The whole Coachella thing's weird to me, but I don't know. Oh, Billie Eilish loved it. Yeah, was she, <laughs> is she still a thing? You know what's crazy? Ugh. Counting Worms mm -hmm. uh, has 20, 20 million. 20 million, yeah. That makes sense. Plays. Uh, and it's an intro song. So I think, or outro song. And I think that's just fantastic. <laughs> Good for you. Well, uh, whatever. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, listen, they're just like, well, we didn't do nothing. We're just fucking playing the music. But um, yeah, I don't know. Exactly. I don't know. You want to jump into a song real quick? I would quick? like to listen to some music. Yeah, let's, let's jump into a song. I have so much more to talk about, but I, let's just, I, I feel I like this you know. is what happens when we go a week without doing it, you know? 
Yeah, for sure. But I also think, I don't know. I, but I, again, this beer is tasting really good today. Dude. Did you do I, something? I, it? Is that the one that expires on September 11th? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, speaking of terrorists, I meant, <laughs> I meant to bring the little Saddam Hussein. <laughs> Bro, I'm not joking. I looked on eBay to find like a finished set so I could complete it. Because if have you ever opened Curious. it? You ever opened it? I know there's just a little. Uh, it's you know what the next you know what the next doll is right? Oh yeah, it was it's Osama uh, bin Laden. Osama bin Laden, but there's only half of him, bro. So give give some context real I, fast. Okay, so R R J knows that I love, <laughs> I love war history. I love that kind of thing. Like so, I I mean, I just I love history and mostly regarding war. I, I'm into it. I'm into like military technology. That's like my shit. So I guess he found like this. It's a Russian, a Russian nesting doll. Yeah. But the main doll is is uh, Saddam Hussein. <laughs> I had him on the counter at the house. And Brandon goes, "Why is Saddam Hussein on our fucking counter?" It's a greatly painted Saddam, I, dude. It, it's awesome. It, yeah, it's it looks like a Saddam bowling pin. It's, it's amazing. Fantastic. I love it. <laughs> it's yes. Dude, it's so good. And I, dude, I'm not gonna lie. The other night, I. I watched, I I, I rewatched the history of the Gulf War, the first one with 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 George Bush Senior, and and I was like, man, that's crazy. Like, it, I I just it was cool because it sparked that, and I liked it, and I'm gonna be putting it up on a shelf. Somewhere. But but I, I but I also gonna get those trading. Have you seen those trading cards that you they were have? Talking about the trading, dude. Cards. I want. Yeah. And I found like a, a 25 pack for like eight dollars on eBay. I was like, oh, yeah. buy one. Let's go. Okay. We'll, we'll do an opening. Anyways. Anyway, song go. Song. Let's yeah, figure it out. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'll throw a song at you because right. uh, I think it's a short one. All right. Uh, let's, let's do the downswing song. Okay. Swing, swing now from the day. Oh, you want to talk about how I wanna, <laughs> I'm going to cry in October? So okay. da- Dallas and I have been wanting to go to Fest. Yeah, I've never been to Fest. I think I've be, never been to Fest. So Dallas cool. has been to Fest a few times. And that's like, Fest is like a... a a low, it's it's a it's a Florida thing, but it's not just in one place, right? It kind of like moves. No, so it's in Gainesville every year. It's in Gain. I, I, I say I knew it was in Gainesville. I thought it moved around, but so it's it's basically like a punk show. Mm-hmm. There's over 350 bands that will be playing. Yeah, we get the three day pass. Hell yeah. Um, the headliner is Thursday, oh. and they're doing a two set show. What what time? What part of October? Uh, the, like. It's like it's always around um, <coughs> Halloween. Oh man! And they're doing War all the time. That's like the that's my favorite. That's album. the album. That's the album. War all the time. Yeah. Anyway, M- maybe we can get tickets for Brandy too. We can go because we were supposed to go to we were supposed to go to Furnace Fest. But, yeah. Uh, wedding. I'm, I'm super excited. No, I've that's gonna been. be awesome, dude. While, while I type this in, I will cry. While I type this in, did you uh, see that thing I sent you? The Devil Wears Prada and Counterparts are going on tour. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> it, I don't know about all that. I don't know. I just thought it was interesting. Um, hold on, because the bill was like, um, it was counterparts. Uh, artist murder rate right, or some shit. No, like that? no, 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 no. It was. Uh, Did you send it to me on it, a text message? It, it it probably was no. I it was on Facebook. Oh, that's where, it, that's where I saw. Okay, it. so it's Devil Wears Prada, Fit for King is what I meant. Mm-hmm, Sorry, mm-hmm. Uh, counterparts and then landmarks. Okay. Um, I'm not not about it. I, I just thought you like Devil Wears. I just thought you like Devil Wears Prana, but I love Zombie EP. Yeah, as long as they play that. All right. Okay, so I feel like we're going to keep talking. It's yes. already been it's been almost thirty minutes. <laughs> Let's yes. just play a song. Okay, so Downswing. Oh, um, n- new lows. New lows. It's one word. One word. Okay. Person, place, or thing. <laughs> What's it? New lows. I got uh, two two words. Um, Oh, oh, got an official yeah, music, yeah. official music, oh, officially video. a music video, y'all. Oh God, hold on, Jesus, tap dancing, Burger Christ. Is it loud for you? It's not loud for me. Uh, hold on, you're right, because I did do something stupid earlier. No, that's it. That sounds good. All right, this is downswing, new lows. of old stress. 
you thought. They're getting the cops called on them right now. <laughs> Woo! Good breakdown. Woo. Was that Macy Gray? <laughs> He sounds just like Comeback Kid. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel bad I forgot his name, but he sounds just like Comeback Kid, man. A little raspier, I would say, but yeah. Probably, but man, he sounds just like fucking Comeback Kid. Wow. <laughs> Give it to me. Ah, oh, God. Show me your uh, credit score in the comments, everybody. <laughs> 787. <laughs> oh, I love it when they do that. They, they go back you into the side by side. Yeah, yeah. That fucks me up. <laughs> <laughs> To the staff, yeah. Hell yeah. If you like that, fucking check out all their shit because <laughs> oh. they are so much fun. I like that, dude. That sounds. I I hear what you're saying. No, it kind of says a little bit of Drew, like from. Uh, have you listened straight? to Have you listened to newer Comeback Kid? Uh, I, I did dive a little bit not that long ago. I forgot yeah. the uh, die knowing was like when one of their. That was in like 2017, 18, something like that. And then they kept, but that's a really good album. But they got a little bit heavier as they they did as they progressed over. Kind of parts kind of did that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of parts. Yeah. But man, yeah, grab me a couple too. Um, fucking, but newer count, uh, newer comeback kit sounds like that. It's really good. Yeah. Um, I got the but man, his voice, dude, fucking a. Yeah, guy's, no. And it, that guy's voice was fucking To awesome. me. God, I, I'm looking at my hair and it's driving me crazy. I just got Well, we got a wide angle lens. It's yeah. Good. Um <laughs> I, I look extra huge. Um the reason why I like that is it like those are the kind of bands I do like seeing live because it's just so much fun. It's chaos and it's just love. To me, it's just chaotic no, love. But you know? you know what? But but it's what I've always said about why I don't like beat down hardcore is because it it's just slow and break down the whole time. And that's fine. It's got its place. It is what it is. But I that band had some energy. Yep. I liked it. That was good. Um shit. Yeah, uh, that was that was like to me, or 240. It's to me, if you can keep in that realm of time, that's the perfect song. This genre, mm -hmm. not all song, not at all genres, but that genre, two forty six, two forty is like that song. Yeah, yeah. perfect time. Mm -hmm. Real fast, we're not gonna play it on the episode. <laughs> Boundaries just came out with another song. Oh, it's fucking. And by so far, when I listened to it, um, I think it was after the third or fourth time I listened to it again. I go, yep, they did it again. They mm. made another perfect song. Yeah. I don't know how which, they fucking which do it, I but they did it. I won't say anything bad about Boundaries, but the other song that we listened to, the, the other recent... It, it did not showcase it. It, it didn't have an... It, I don't know. It wasn't a bad song by no. any means, but it just... It, it It's that song on the album that's a little less active than yeah. the rest. The song is Armageddon. It's awesome. Check it the fuck out. Like, literally, like what I did, I just put on repeat. I just like, I listened to it so many times. I don't know how... They fucking do it. I want to listen to it with you after. Uh, yeah, I would like to do that. Uh, you heard of the name Blacklisted? I don't think that's how you spell it. Yeah, it's Blacklistering. It's uh, <laughs> it's, it's uh, popular in Japan. 
<laughs> anyway, I'm sure it'll find it. Blacklisted? Uh, yeah. So Blacklisted is kind of like a one of those bands where it's it's Okay, so that right there. Yeah. Okay. That first song? Mm-hmm. That's that's what I'm playing, yeah. Okay, so this whole genre of like I, I have I don't know this band, right? But they sound okay, polar but, opposite. But okay, with the black and white photo, mm -hmm. the, the the font, the way it's all set up, I know I'm gonna like it. You know what I'm saying? Black Blacklisted is one of those bands to me where okay, so I, I'm a huge fan of like uh, like Suicide File. Yeah, I like them. And Blacklisted was kind of like a rock and roll esque, but then they got a little darker as I got older. Okay. And I remember I pl I had this song and I was like, oh well, this kind of it's it's a short song, so it kind of played into that realm. I love it. But I think you're gonna like this band a lot. I I, I just know, like I said, there's something about like when. Good bands choose the correct font for their band, because mm -hmm. because I mean that's is that okay. Hel is that Helvetica? What is that? No, but, okay. <laughs> let's just look at the walls for a second, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Like 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 in all seriousness, okay. Counterparts is a perfect example, right? So yeah. just the basic bold font, like mm -hmm. just nothing special about it, like that. I feel like is typically used in old school hardcore and melodic hardcore. Like it's very like. That old or, style, right? Yeah, you're you're not wrong. I think there's definitely a okay. like domains a good example. Like it's the same kind of font, a big, little bit thicker. Yeah, big yeah. letters, very. Uh, I think it's called sans serif, which means it doesn't okay. have any like. So feel uh, the flames. I can look at that like that bubbly like kind of graffiti esque like font <laughs> with like a shadow. I know that street hardcore, like yeah. You know? or, or I could look at it and say, like, that has kind of two, to me, it has two different meanings. It could be like kind of my, maybe more of a, um, what was that, uh, that band we saw at FYA that was kind of like that pop punk that was oh, really good. No pressure. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I can get a no pressure vibe, but I could also get a fucking, like you said. Yeah. Um, or, or Terror is another perfect example. <clears throat> like that, that T, yeah. like that, that, like everything about that, that screams old school Terror? East Coast, yeah, right? No, they're no, from LA. No, they're from, they're they're from West Coast. From LA. Um, I guess the East Coast did that too. But te but um, well, a lot of like like traditional like you know tougher hardcore bands they would go two ways. They either go like typewriter font, mm -hmm. graffiti font, mm -hmm. or um, monotype or whatever. Like is. yeah, so like they could kind of go or the traditional old English like style. Yeah, I, I feel like old English to me What's is kind of like associated with like more of a a tougher hardcore band. Yes. It's very simple, you know. And then, like the beatdown bands will have like a, ba a a logo that's almost looks like a metal logo, but it's yeah. not a metal logo. No, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> we need a guy in here that knows what he's doing. Anyway, here's blacklisted. This is blacklisted. <laughs> Deeper kind. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, a bit of, more rock and roll, punky, but punk rocky. Like a very much a pile on, yeah, like, yeah, just crazy fast. That's it. Yeah, go. That was that was very fun. That that kind of like this album here is really good from them. I mean, there's just a good band, and they and they've kind of been very dynamic, like through their albums. But I also just really like the name of that album is when, when people grow, people go. <laughs> and I'm just like, it's very true though. Yeah, no shit. It's <laughs> pretty true. cool. That kind of reminded me of like things I would have listened to in middle school, like uh, skating kind of deal. Like it's very upbeat. There was super one, fast. There was one band I showed you like on episode like five or six and you were like, I love this shit. And I was like, fuck. I remember the name of the song was sick, but I, I can't, I don't know. 
I'll have to, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, System of the Down. System of the Down. Listen to that <laughs> on episode nine with Wayne. <laughs> Lamb if God. Lamb if God. Yeah. Uh, so that was fun. So that was blacklisted, um, deeper kind. Yeah. It's actually cool. I'm actually kind of glad because it's it's the first time that I've actually had a list of what I want to play. And it actually was like, all right, well, it worked out good. That works. Here we go. Yeah. Um, you don't have to just default to your list of 50 bands and just be like, which one? <laughs> No, I just... I like your sticker on your headphones, by the way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can't really see it on this uh, fucking... Nah, it's fine. 2005 <laughs> camera or whatever. Hey, you want to direct connect? <laughs> hey. You know what made me... Uh, so I had my birthday party uh, mm. Saturday, which is really fun. I don't know why we didn't talk about that. Very did you fun. have a good time? Oh, I did. Yeah. Dude, everybody, dude, I bought four pounds of wings and I made the wings. Inhaled. Dude, they were inhaled. Inhaled. I don't know what happened to this. I had three. What about the kebabs? Did anybody eat those? Dude... I, I saw multiple people they, walk they, around with kebabs. They came out okay. They there was been none left over. Oh, well, that's good. Fucking yeah. A. <laughs> I, I threw away a bunch of the ingredients the next day, but... Uh, mm. but uh, Yeah, I left the teriyaki. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, mm. my favorite, one of the things, because Wayne, Wayne is like, we need to get that dude a badge. We need to get a special shirt made for Wayne. Mm -hmm. I would think so. Uh we can make him make it because he works at a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. No. Um, but he was like, uh, he he kept saying, uh, very good. Oh, oh yeah, very good. <laughs> and uh, he's like, was saying that and every time he makes a shirt print and uh, he, it has to be approved. He goes, mm, yeah, very good. And he's like, <laughs> his coworkers think it's hilarious. He doesn't know where it's from. He's like, yeah, yeah you'll I, have I, to know. I, I, it's so that funny. It's gatekeeping us. <laughs> it, it's, so, it's so funny because I, I, I was telling people, like, I... I don't know where I, I started saying that. I think I started doing it with Autumn because she would, I'd say, Autumn, say this. And she'd go, blah, blah, blah. Go, Very good. Ah, nice. <laughs> you know, just kind of like a sarcastic, you yeah, know. Yeah, And uh, it, it, do people do it at work now? Like, yeah. when, hey, did you do that? Like, no, I'll get you. Oh, very good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's All like, right, that, I got you. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, my version is like, oh, that's almost helpful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, thank, thank, yeah very I good. also go, thank you. <laughs> very <laughs> good. Cool. Oh, I got new drops. I forgot. What? Yes. Um, You're waiting almost like 45 minutes. Well, we were this talking for 30 minutes before yeah. we played the music. Yeah. I was like, God yeah. damn, we got to kind of break it up a little bit. <laughs> new I'm, drops. I I'm also it. doing this new thing where I'm super like <laughs> obsessed with audio, Dude. and which makes sense, right? But I'm also like, I'm like paying attention to where the mic. Oh, you're now doing that okay. because it's so funny. Because if you were to if you were to ask me where your voice sits in a frequency range, I know where it sits. It's right here. No, it's right here. It's right here. Well, well it's, 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 around, it's pretty... around 92 kilohertz, but that's fine. Oh, you're looking for a number. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 92 hertz, not kilohertz. kilohertz I think frequency. I've always been pretty good with my microphone. No, no, you're I'm fine. Very, see, uh, I'm self-aware of my microphone. I'm definitely the dynamic one. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Um, but I'm trying to be more... Yeah. So, you know, uh, I want a more consistent mix. Whatever. Drops. I want drops. drops. Yeah, very good. Uh, <laughs> yes, very good. Yes, very good. Okay, so I got a couple of them. I don't know which ones are going to actually be usable, but I at least wanted to talk about <laughs> Just the hard or. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What just happened? I'm in this like weird, loopy, tired phase, and mm. I just imagine you just having a hard R. <laughs> But I don't know which one would be usable. Let me. Uh... Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, uh, these are uh, you know, these are uh, social justice warrior approved. Oh, well, okay. One of them might not be. I don't know. So the first one is obviously I think it, it's kind of conducive to not only our podcast but also what we do. The fucks. The fuck. It's just it's just beat butthead. Um, <laughs> the fucks. Uh, Play that one again. I want to hear it. The fucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's just very simple. Like, this sucks. Um, well, let, me, let me look at the uh, menu, menu here. Okay. Uh, that one. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. And then I, I got another one from uh, Zoolander. What is this? What is this? So obviously when a band sucks, um, I got this one. I live right there. Can I go home? Can I go home? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I, this sounds very gay. 
This sounds very good. I live right there. Oh, Can I go fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then I got uh, a couple more. I don't know how I can be conducive to using them, but that's why I put them on the other bank. But I have... Uh, oh, have no. You ever seen the movie Airheads? Yes. Okay. I ain't farting on no snare drum. <laughs> <laughs> and I got... Oh, I got... The- I like it. Okay. And then... Oh, the- Boom shakalaka! It's from NBA Jam. Okay. Boom shakalaka! But I don't know. I, I don't know. What's the first one? Oh, I think that was just another reiteration of uh, something else I already had. Yeah, it's just the kagunk. I had to move it. <laughs> anyway, but I thought that was. I really love the Beavis and Butthead one. Oh, wait, wait. Gotta go back hold on, that. hold on. I got to make it back to. This is great. This is great content. Uh, they should make that a little bit more uh, accessible. There you go. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's whatever. This sucks. <laughs> I live right there. Can I go home? <laughs> That's definitely our version of uh, who's listening to this. Mm-hmm. This song. Well, I, I I sent you some uh, memes the other night or screenshots of like we, me and Brandy watch rewatch Beavis and Butthead do America again. Yeah. You know, and it still holds up. It's so funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've also been watching the new episodes. That's the introduction of uh, Hank Hill, right? Was Duke yeah, yeah. Duke, yeah. He's uh, Mr. Anderson on that show. Tom Anderson is his Mr. name on that show. Mr. Anderson. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's very good. So I'm going to have like a giant. The Matrix, soundboard. yeah. <laughs> and I'll be like, just really big paddles. <laughs> 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 it looks look like Blue Man Group. Yeah, I like this it. sounds very gay. It sounds very gay. <laughs> I, dude, when I heard that when we were watching The Sopranos, I was like, whoa, that's a drop. Yeah. Um, I was trying to upload them. Last episode before we started talking. Um, oh, that's funny. No, so we we were we're also watching the new episodes of Beavis and Butthead on Paramount. Yeah, like the modern, like they came out like last month. Yeah, and there's one where he's like, you know what, Beavis, I'm never too above myself to consider your mom a slut. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Yeah, I got I got to redive into him. When Tyler and I went on went on our uh, road trip about twelve mm-hmm. years ago, that's all I watched was Beavis and Butthead. It, it, it's funny, man. Like it's it's so good. I don't know. It, it's it's mindless and it's stupid. Well, like I feel like, like Mike Judge just I, there's something about his humor. It's very it's dry. No, well, well, it's realistic. Yeah, but he's dry though. That's that's like Mike. Those Judge. are real people. Yeah, a thousand. Percent. He's already said that he the uh, interview where he's like, "Where did you come up with the name the voice of Beavis?" He's like, "It was a kid in my math class." <laughs> He would always like, he'd always like mm, and laugh before he would talk and all that shit. He's like, dude. But I love King of the Hill. That's like my favorite oh, yeah, show of all time. And it's, I just, I like the humor. Yeah. You know, like, you know, I don't know. So, uh, what? What? I live right there. Can I go home? Yes, yeah, very This cool. sounds very gay. I love it. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> all right. Let's do some music. I got some music. Let's do some music. Okay. So you were just saying how you don't really care too much for beatdown music, right? I don't, it's not that I don't care for right. it. It's just, it, it, it the dynamic is boring to me. That's that's so, that's what it is. There is a that's South Florida it. local band, Traders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they just came out with a new song. Uh, hmm. I heard a blip of it okay. on TikTok. Um, yeah, keep talking. I'm gonna look something up. Like, what are you talking about? What's the call, song called? Uh, Traders. Uh, the song is called Bitter. There, uh, so. Oh God. In my opinion. <laughs> Oh, it's music video. Good. The vocalist, Tyler, uh, has a very distinct sound. Like, he, like, has always had this super distinct sound. Before, like, these whole copycats came out, uh, that's another thing, I was, uh, uh, like, it's kind of been p- pissing me off lately. What, how I said you could just drag and drop, like, singers? No, oh. no. So, like, the whole, like, Will Ramos's and, like, these, like, Brand of Sacrifice, like, these bands... Like, um, yeah, okay. All these copycats are coming out. Oh, yeah, you want to talk about this? No, I I just saw it on the news. Either uh, uh, I say the news. I saw it on the on the on the internet page. So this is fucking nuts, right? So like the drummer of Traders, right? (laughs) Yeah, I didn't even read the whole uh, thing until just now, and that's pretty awesome. Okay, so so they were at a show (laughs) in Vegas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he tried to get uh, someone tried to jump him, Mm. I believe, and then he beat the absolute. Fuck out of them, mm. and uh, because that dude has that dog in him, and he, he, looks, um, he looks scrappy. He doesn't have really big shoulders, but he's got he's got a little bit of traps though. Oh, I wouldn't really fuck with anybody in that band, he's but scrappy, like, yeah. uh, but it, what's really cool, um, very fast recovery for him. 
but the drummer of Southpaw. That's really, really. Yeah, that, too, that's why know? I just I I didn't like note it to talk about it on the show, but I just remember seeing like there was something that had to do with with traders. Uh, some one member of, but that's crazy. Well, yeah, then, it's definitely damn. a boxer fracture on that fucking. Right, yeah, that's right a, that's there. a that's a drunken that's, boxer yeah. break right there. Yep. All right. Yep. So okay. So okay. So what were we saying about? So Dragging and dropping or something? Nothing. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it's very good. The fuck? <laughs> I live right there. Can I go home? What is this? This, this, sounds, this, 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 this sounds very gay. <laughs> Dude, that's the best Tony Soprano quote ever. This sounds very gay. <laughs> mm. He's very, like, genuine when he's asking to. Who? Tony Soprano? Yeah, he's... he's Oh yeah, I mean, I feel like if you're an Italian and in in New Jersey, like you have no concept of any other thing other than oh. what you're doing. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Anyway, you got you all right there? <laughs> you, got the, <laughs> you got the hiccups? Yeah, sounds you, right. You got a, <laughs> boom, shagalar. <laughs> uh, oh god. Yeah. This is the episode. What? I got. I'll just play sound effects until you're okay. <laughs> Ooh, I almost show myself. <laughs> All right, so this is Traders. Uh, and the song is called Bitter. Uh, just came out. Very fresh. I see an MH. I see an MH. Hold on. It looks like a Jackson. That's not a Jackson. That is not a Jackson. No, that is you're a, right, you're right. I've always wanted to do this on the podcast. Hold on. There's no subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> this is closer to like the Acacia strain though that I like though. Yeah, it's got a little more dynamic with it. Oh, oh, oh. Sunglasses stands back. <laughs> Do I look like a Navi? Oh, thank you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. This is the first time I've ever put closed captioning on the fucking music. Hold on. What is that? And he definitely doesn't say thank you. I know, but he goes, oh, oh. <laughs> That's what it like. <laughs> Very, I like it. Yeah, so that was Traders Bitter. You it's know, little, it's kind of more in that down tempo, but you know, but it's shit, but it's you know? it's still faster than just like that one. It's three. definitely faster than I think some of their older stuff. Hey, um, to me, I I I like that kind of shit because, like you mentioned it earlier, it's kind of had that uh, a Casey Strain esque sound. Um, it, I, it has a little bit more depth. Yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, so that was Traders. They're from Florida. They're cool. Yeah, they're pretty big though, aren't they? Like, weren't um, they like, weren't they like body snatcher big before body snatcher became around? Um, yeah. So uh, like, if if I remember correctly, they were playing like the Boondocks 
before Body Snatcher. Was I don't there. remember that, but I, I don't even think I lived here. No. It must have been close, though. No. I think Body Snatcher came out within a year later. Okay. Cause Cause I, I, maybe. I, could I remember that, when but, Body Snatcher uh, first started playing shows because Ben was in the band, and so was Sam. Sam was not in the band. He, what? Colton was in the band. That's what I meant. Yeah. That's what I meant. Colton, sorry. Yeah, it was um, the, the lineup was Alex, Colton, Ben, and uh, yeah, yeah, Kyle. yeah. I remember because they used to uh, literally uh, practice in the receptionist area of my old uh, workshop. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's awesome. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, so that was Traders Better, something a little bit different. Um, they just came out with a song. I kind of wanted to show you know some some Florida music, a little love, some new shit. Um, and you know it's not terrible. I liked it. So no, I mean yeah. I I can tough guy shit if you like that kind of shit. And you know what? Those are the kind of shows I'm talking about. To where there is crowd killing. And if you go to a trader show and you don't know what traders is about and you see that going on, don't bitch about it. Yeah, down nine one one. Yeah, just call the cop on me. <laughs> you fucking. I live right here. Can I go home? <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> I like yeah. I have this. <laughs> That's. It. I mean, it's a severe halo. Look at this. I don't understand why. That what's creating that light goes the, across the entire studio. The sun, but yet I don't get it. That line, because the sun's like over in this direction. I can see the entire fucking. Thing. No, I know, but it's like. Oh I my know. god, I got like a little sweat stain right here. Oh, what's that like? <laughs> I don't know. You're wearing a black shirt, not me. I don't know. I sweat when it's uh, 50 degrees outside. Do uh, uh, you want to do a quick little um, pee pee break? Yeah. I yep. Gonna, I need a cigarette. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. <laughs> I live right here. Can I go home? <laughs> We're back. <laughs> I don't know. I want to have like a bigger uh, soundboard. Yeah. Um, no, we were just talking about uh, not politics, but news in general. And it's, it, dude, at my work, everybody is so... Not educated in the sense of like opinion. Yeah. Like you can have your opinions, that's fine. But like literally, they're having arguments about some of the hot topics that are going on right now. And they're like, where's your source? Where's your source? Mm -hmm. And they're like, all right, I want you to tell me what your source is and I want you to bring it in tomorrow. And then they like yell at each other about where they can't get sources from. And I'm just like, oh, my Shut Christ, up. dude. Sounds like wasted energy. It, it, dude, it, well, nobody wants to be wrong. Yeah. And it's like, I have my opinions, but nobody asked me. I do, I literally clocked out five minutes early the other day just so I wouldn't have to hear the end of the argument. I just, I'm leaving. I don't want to. I'm done. No, and it's it's funny because I was the only reason why I bring that up is, so I've always said, if you want to hear what's really going on in the war, ask a soldier. Sure. Ask somebody that's been there. You know, ask them what's, you know, all this stuff. And I was telling you how I, I was watching, you know, I was revisiting the history of the Gulf War, the, the first one, you know, with Saddam Hussein and all this stuff. And it's like, man, it, it's it's wild, you know, because obviously there's a lot of politics involved in everything. And Oh, it, you were talking mm -hmm. about that nesting dolls. You said you were looking up a full set. Yep. Did you find a full set? I didn't, I didn't find the matching one, but I did find other types. Yeah. And they're like 25, 50 bucks. Yeah. I found one that was like, 800, but I was like, mm, here, just, you're just there better be pogs in there or something because you're an idiot. <laughs> I, I have a full binder full of pogs. I have an official pog binder <clears throat> full of pogs. Yeah. No, that's let's just let's do cool. that. Let's, let's collect some pogs, bro. I, I'm, what, 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 what were the cool ones when we were kids? The poison, right? It was always like some skull and it said poison on it. There's some, <laughs> there's literally some right here. It's the, uh, um, the yin yang one mm -hmm. and then the eight ball one. Yeah, the yin yang, yang ones big, that, yeah. that went perfect with remember those stupid Dr. Seuss hats that they used to like give away at fairs, like for a prize? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, I'm glad you diverted me from where I was going because y'all are stupid. Y'all stupid, Fucking, dog. You just read. Read books. Do something. Um, hmm. uh, so I found this band, and I don't, I'm don't. i on the fence whether I like them or not. Ooh, this might be. Because I remember you mentioned that earlier. You said I have a couple. You said you had a couple songs where you didn't know. I had no idea. So My I've, next two songs, I really don't know. Well, let's do that. So I, I have this band, and I know I, I like them. But, like, I'm not sure if I like them, like, or love them. It's hard because 
I, I don't know if we said it on the podcast or off air, but it's like, it's hard when you find certain bands like Jada's Knife in the Dark, Boundaries, you're just like, oh, Chamber. Like, Chamber, like you're just yeah. like, fucking, oh, oh that's yeah. it, you yeah. know? Um, so th- have you ever heard, I, I don't know if it's Typecast or Typecased, but either way, um, the name of the band is Typecased, Typecast, whatever. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a hit. Hypothesis? No, it's it's a hypnogoic hallucination. Um, just I can't see that far, so I have to make sure I'm spelling it right. I'm just that'll I'll, that'll find it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> it's fine. So it, this, it's I don't know. I don't even really know how to describe the genre, but it was definitely I, I've been on like that kick lately. Of see, like, I'm trying to judge it right now just by the font and the album artwork. I don't know. I, I don't. I got nothing right now. Honestly, I don't. I don't think it's that is going to give you any kind of inclination towards anything. Anyway, so it's it's a quick one, you know, a couple minutes. But uh, this is typecased uh, hip hypnogogic hip hypnogogin hallucinization. <laughs> Hypno. <laughs> One thing I'll say right away, you could have done a lot different with like the cadence of the uh, the lyrics that wouldn't have made it sound so primitive. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. It's like you had the lead singer of Biohazard. Did the one game gap goo? Didn't even do anything. I like the tone. The, the, the overall. The guitar sounds good. Okay. Um, my first opinion on that is, uh, it, I did not like his vocals, like the the tone, the sound. Okay. But man, there's so much you could have done. There's something missing. It's, sure. it, there's there, it, it there's was something. L- there's I think if you had done better, maybe with the uh, the cadence and the uh, like the actual timing of the vocals, you could have done a lot more. But it was just it was very. I don't know if it was in the mix. But it just came off kind of boring. That's what I'm saying. Is yeah. to me the most boring part about that was the patterns he chose. No, no, but not even. But that. But that's the thing is. Is I think you could take something that's kind of simple. But if you structure the way the lyrics are sung, maybe if he it could have carried it a little bit more. Maybe if he had a little bit more range. Because I, I did like his vocals. Though. No, no, no. You know, I did too. But what know. I'm saying is, instead of instead of just going, who, who, sit, boy, and then waiting, because that's that's, and I'm not 
saying anything about this band or negative. But yeah. I, I, when a lot of younger, because we typecast, dude, we've way. literally gotten in arguments with like old when Awaiting Winter first came out. Like, yeah, dude, we would get so frustrated with how boring the 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 patterning was for the vocals because it would almost be like it, here it is, and then it just waits to resolve. So, the, I, but I, that, but he's doing that. It's like, hey, who did, but, and he's waiting for. It's the, like you're almost going with the beat of like egg, the guitar egg, strum, exactly, instead exactly of like the what flow of the song. Exactly what he's yeah. doing, and that's one thing that I've always like Jesse. Uh, it, I mean, shit, fucking a lot of bands do it, but it's like you could have started, you could have added like maybe a couple of other syllables prior to the beat coming in, and it yeah. would have carried a boring and. and I don't think the riffs were boring, but I think the vocals didn't do anything to enhance it. Remember what I've always said, though? It's like the bass player, if we got a good bass player, but he's always going to play what's... Did they even have a bass player? I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. Anyway. My thing is that, and and not like, I know we don't want this to be like a Boundaries podcast, but like (laughs) when you take his vocal patterns... They're good. It... Dude... Like I said, <laughs> when I listen to their music, I almost lose my breath. Yeah. Like, as someone who, ha- like, not that I do vocals anymore, that has done vocals, I'm like, how do you do that? And I've seen him live, and I know he can do it. Oh, But I will say, though, that typecast, I bet you that is a better live show than what just <clears throat> we just listened to. I don't think my opinion would change based on, like, I think the music was good. No, because, but I just thought the, just the, vocal, the vocals weren't. There was a few bands that were like that for you FYA, had a, though. You know what I'm saying? That we listen to, and then yeah. we, we go watch them, and you're like, much better live performance. Well, for sure. But I also think that's just with the, with the sound overall. I think that that singer... To me, that he he's just only doing the ad libs of what he should be doing. You see what I'm saying? Like I think that he the, found lyrics that fit. There was an opportunity. The drums. Of there the was song. an opportunity yeah. to carry the song more. Yeah. No. And like that's what I. I don't. I know. guess you kind of miss like the genuineness of if that's even a fucking word of a song. You know, real fast. The hypno no. Jogic. Hypno go hypno go gig hallucinization means uh, relating to the state immediately before falling asleep. That right there is pretty fucking cool. It also like, sounds like how he wrote his lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I make sure I have a pad right on my nightstand, dude. I, I take <laughs> I take four Tylenol PMs, drink a beer, and I live right there. Can I go home? Can I go home? <laughs> I you, don't know. If you don't know. Watch that episode. Mm. Um, mm. No, that that uh, that wasn't terrible. I don't know I, if I, I would throw it in I, my mix. But, it's, un, um, it's unfortunate because I, I, to me, I think deep down, if the if the vocal, it, I I don't know. I just I don't think it's lacking. I just think the vocal, if if he was carrying it and like actually performing, but like you said, he's just following. It sounds like he's just following the rhythm of the downbeat and. I don't, just, it is what it is. There's something missing there. Somebody's going to like it, maybe. I don't know. No, no, absolutely. And I'm sure they... like. I don't hate it. I like just, I said, I, I I bet you like their live performances are fucking tits. Mm-hmm. Um, but in my bitchin'. head... Bitchin'. <laughs> We're bringing back bitchin'. I, I want to bring it back. <laughs> yeah. Bitchin'. <laughs> bitchin'. Um, my, my feeling is that you go back into you practicing, right? Mm-hmm. You don't have a song. You have ideas, right? You yeah, have, yeah. You have like junk, right? You have steps or whatever, mm-hmm. and you're just jamming. And that moment when the vocalist who has no vocals, like like lyrics set up for that song, is just also just jamming with you. That's what's missing out of that. Yeah, for me. Th- that's exactly what's missing. Is out hanging that. out, exactly going through the process of that song, and realizing, okay, this is what the band is going through to get this sounding tight. I need to be there for that to. Nar- like that fucking just like just hone in on that fucking I've tightness, liter- you know I've literally said that same exact thing before where it's th- the vocalist not always present gotta be present no, but but the thing is 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 because had there been like a perfect lyric the structuring process and you could have written around that lyric yeah you could have you could have influenced 
And you I, know. I will say this, and I know it's a local band. I know no one's really like listened to him, but uh, History of Monsters, I feel like has always been really good about they can put in a certain word. And granted, it is Southern and hardcore, so it's a little bit easier to add like uh, nuances to like a sound. I, I don't think that's fair to say either, though. I think it's it's probably, like I said before, it's harder to be simple than it's not. But that emphasis... When you when you can take yeah. like you take a word like right now, and you try to like fit that into a song, and if you want to carry on, you'd be like right now nah, or whatever. You know, you, you can, can like accentuate, you can you, you can, can accent- you can do something to lead into the. That's next what part. they. That's exactly what that band was missing. Is they did, they, they, yeah. they yeah they weren't placating to leading into the next. That's exactly what they weren't doing. Yeah. I think if they had a, a different pattern or whatever i think it, it would have made that song to me better. like like i said like the like the genuine sound it, it was kind of lacking for me and like i love how we're like giving a response to someone to where the band probably just gives no fucks about us but like well, my, i don't give a fuck it, about their vocal patterns but, either but my opinion <laughs> it, like and I, I know wayne will listen to this but like if me you and wayne ever just jammed i would be really curious what would come out of that mm. Because I don't have the vocal range that you used to have, like you know, like for like a band style that you used to like be a part of, mm. you know. But and, you also don't. That's not necessarily important though, because. But it, it it could it could evolve something, you know. Right, what right. I'm but saying? but you, you know? also but you also said it perfect though when you said something's missing. Something's missing. So yeah. regardless of that, so even if you had a singer that was kind of of a mo- more of a monotone, which is nothing wrong with that. Nothing. But. Even Brian yeah. Garris, there's nothing wrong with Brian Garris, hmm. but he doesn't have range, Billy, and he knows that. Yeah, yeah, that's okay though. That's fine. But the but the band kind of caters. To, what I'm saying is, is there's, that it makes up on all right, aspects, but at yeah. the same time, he accentuates the parts with the cadence of what he's going to do vocally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sure. that's what was missing from that band, yeah. and I hate it because I the recording was great. I, yeah, I like his voice. I just I don't know. Just that's why, little, like, when I was listening to it, I didn't want to hate it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like it was a little boring though. But it was a little it seemed it, a little. And I, for a short song, I yeah. feel like it lagged. Like it it, yeah. it felt like it was drug out and. Mm-hmm. um I don't know, maybe if we dove into that band a little bit more, maybe there's bigger hits. Maybe that's just a filler song. I don't think so. That's the I best thing I can so. find. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be a little bit optimistic on that end. Um, yeah, yeah, don't do that. Just live in the dark. Better. <laughs> um, so anyway, so that was Typecast, um, uh, a title that's kind of confusing. Um, Hypnagogian Hallucinations. Yep. Hip, which in theory, hallucinations which, which in of center theory is a very the Ohio State University <laughs> <laughs> running back. Um, running back, <laughs> it's a very cool concept. I feel like I, I, I really like. I really like the deep, the depthness of that. What it could be, yeah, yeah. It is kind of. I mean, it's also kind of despairing i've always said that like listening to it as a musician to it i'm like i'm always feel like i'm critiquing it like musically too yeah so like, i don't know if i can ever really like, enjoy certain Music, things yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but uh you said you had a couple of ones that you don't know if you like them so or not there's so there's one that i've never listened to anything <sighs> oh my god <laughs> that felt so good you were holding that in since last week dude <laughs> bro <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that felt so lightheaded. Like oh my gosh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Um, oh God, <laughs> I found this one. Um, you want a moment to reflect? Yes, yeah, very good. <laughs> no, I just. What did you find? So there's this. There's this. It was just a TikTok. I stopped it. I took a screenshot, and mm. this is one of the bands I never heard of them. Um, but the band is called Enox. E N O X. Uh, and the song is called Inferno. Um, literally, uh, <laughs> Inferno. <laughs> Inferno. How many W's are Inferno? <laughs> I don't know. It depends on. Oh, uh, see, I don't know. Sh- what? <laughs> I don't know. Oh God, is that the, is that the lead? Hold on. Who does he look like? He looks like that famous guitar player YouTuber. <laughs> Hold on. Is that? I wonder if that's him. No, he's a vocalist. Yeah, I know, but he also plays guitar. I don't know. He looks. Oh, it says. Oh, okay. Maybe they're a Florida band. It says live in Orlando. Uh, know, just a few yeah, a month ago. Okay, is this Peyton Parrish again? 
I like I said, I have Jesus Christ. <laughs> just just tie this go on the first one. Oh, Kim Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> Episode nine. Dude, eight. <laughs> dude, Kim Dracula popped up on my thing. I just <laughs> I just commented on TikTok. I just said hot garbage. And I'm just like, shit sucks, dude. Um sorry. <laughs> you have talent, but you're you're using it for the wrong powers. Yep. Um Do you just want to go into it? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is Enoch's Inferno and uh oh it's a music video. Yep. Yeah. Square up. This might be Florida. Way too many strings on that guitar. Did you do this on purpose? I have no idea, dude. <laughs> like I said, I've never heard this song. If I ever rubbed a genie and he came out of it, I would be very upset. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I don't. I mean, there's a there's a market for this, uh, you know. Well, n- n- th- this genre sucks. The band doesn't suck, but the genre is as. as uh, Is that is that noise? I, I don't know if I love it. Yeah, that's, that's the corn ringtone. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Again, you don't need a fan base. Like it's not. It's. Um, You could have stopped that. Wee 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 wee. You've been doing it the whole time. You didn't See, need. That's where I you get didn't need lost to keep with like doing these, it, man. These, these backtracking bands. I know. You know I, they, it's like you didn't need to keep doing it. Like we, you, you know how we know you did it. You did it the whole song. The you didn't song. have to keep doing it. God. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. <it> was gonna- <laughs> that guitar is kind of sick, though. That Matt Green. No. It, yeah. Cool guitars. Why spend five thousand dollars to play this? To put a fucking lapel so mic on my acoustic like, to make this happen. Is this like Massy Genty beatdown? No, you know what this is. What is it? No, you actually made it good. A point. Um, this is literally the people that don't want to listen to Gent because they don't get it, or. They don't want to listen to like real beat down or hardcore stuff, but because it is beat down, right? But this is the thing: is but it is it not gent? It, this isn't gent. This is no, th- but this is literally just. But new it's metal. so close, right? What I'm saying is, is they they're taking the fact that gent would do patterning and they would with sound effects things like that in the mix, but. This is just the main. This is just the mainstream version. This is like when somebody says, "Oh, I love metal. I listen to Slipknot," which again, Slipknot's not a bad band, but it's like, what's the same thing with like you, you saying like Avenged Sevenfold? Avenged Sevenfold in, is metal, and in, in its core is not a bad metal. Band. No, no, but it's but but it's not a metal. It's band. the it's the you know ra- it's the radio friendly for sure. You Did know, you hear that they're not going to put AM uh, <laughs> AM uh, radios in cars anymore? Oh, cool. Which, I, although, here's my thing. If you're putting an FM radio, it already has AM on it. I don't know. Anyway, 10 seconds left. Wow. 
What is this? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, so that was Enox Inferno. Um, definitely a market for those bands. Like that's a sound that people really gravitate to for some reason. Um, it's not my thing you, because it's it's easy listening. It's very easy listening, and you know what makes it easy and very acceptable is the backtracking. The backtracking makes it very like oh, but well, you also have a very you have a it, okay. It's the iPhone version. You know like what I'm saying? Like it's very dumbed down. You had the back track, but the backtracking steady sound. Oh, I know that. Yeah. I can get used to that. And then you just have other noise on top of that. That's all it is, is other noise on top it, of it. It's it, it's it's and honestly, that that backtracking is multiple layers of backtracking. Oh, dude, but no, yeah, but this, this thing is it's it it's a just play the song. It has a high budget. But it's taking the elements of what's popular with the mainstream. Yeah. And it's just marketing it towards people that, and I've always said this, is like, listen, there's nothing wrong with radio rock. But no, I've no, I've always no. just I've always said though that that's that kind of music is for music for people that don't love music. They just like noise. It, it's just oh I like I like, that, music, I like the heavy background stuff. Noise or whatever. Yeah, but it's it, I don't know. It's because, the same people I was getting in arguments. Yeah. On TikTok about like, people that go to these shows are calling nine one one crazy. No, I was like, <laughs> my my comment was like, you sound like someone who's never been to a show. You go to concerts, and people need mm. to know that there is a fucking difference because people on TikTok now they see these videos of people going to sh shows, but they're not shows. They are fucking concerts. These bands are yeah, yeah. top forties no, in the hardcore community. You're one hundred percent correct. They're not going to Iron Oaks. They're not going to you're, fucking attics. You're one hundred percent correct on that. And you know what? And I think go what, to a local fucking. The show. only difference now between like the mainstream shit back in the nineties, early two thousands was like, well, it's just new metal, but now yeah i mean the break the breakdown has been capitalized bro like that's literally that's literally what's been happening i mean that's literally what's going on and i mean again this band like totally yeah why would it suck it's got a high budget they got a you know whatever everybody in their mom can now just plug into a microwave and play a fucking song like that now i mean no, it's it, all it is all, what it is it's all generated but but it's but it's boring but i always think that no matter what moving forward there's always going to be people that are like, this is this this shit is boring. It won't last. That's not it, won't. no. It's but the thing, it's gonna last. I don't think it's, it's gonna keep. No, it's gonna keep going. It'll just it'll just affect the trend. But there's always going to be people that are like, this music's boring. Or there's going to be musicians. You like, said two years ago, mm -hmm. going on two years now. Mm -hmm. Knock loose won't be a band in three years. I didn't. Well, or five years. Maybe you said five. I don't think. I don't know if I said that wouldn't be a band, but. I, I thought they would have over, overstayed their welcome. Not that they would have done it, but no, the fans would have done it for them. I think that's just a trend, right? Man. Right, right. So fast. So it was a couple of years ago, and now they're playing Coachella. Yeah. So you don't think that they're kind of doing that? I mean, it's going to be the point. Eilish enjoyed it, so. Yeah, well, what the fuck does she do? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I really don't know. I mean, what the, I mean, seriously though, but what the, who the fuck is she? No. I, I mean, she, is she, and this is where it gets, that, this is where it, what I was talking about sociologically is there are people out there that can sing and a lot, like I said, musicians that know their instruments to do all this. They listen to Billy. Uh, Jesus God. They, they listen to Billy Eilish <laughs> and they're like, she sucks. Like, she's an average singer. She's not that great. Her brother or whatever. She's just an influencer. She's right? an influencer. Right. The, we're fighting the battle between influencer and talent right Are bands now. like Knock Loose, are they selling out? Or are they just cashing in because they can't? They're taking the opportunity, right? You have Dude, to, like, weigh it I, out that I, I think, I don't know. I don't know if I said it before, but if I was in Knock Loose right now, I would be selling out and cashing out crazy. Why not? Because, dude, there's no reason... And I made that joke like a few episodes ago. There's they, no, they they already made another hardcore band. Yeah. X Weapon X is yeah, a I know. way more uh, hardcore now, are, band. Are they doing more harm than good to the scene? I don't know. I don't know. Because I, but, I would, we're gatekeepers, though. We're gatekeepers. We are gatekeepers. Because I what how long have we been oh an hour and a half this so this is where we start doing the gatekeeping talk again <laughs> no, but it's, it's every dude it's literally it's almost, almost to the minute episode, yeah. to the yeah. minute yeah every episode where we're like yeah, okay no but it's so true 
But I don't, I'm I will never fault any band like dude. Make your fucking money, dude. I don't give a fuck because yeah. I think about it now. It's like the only reason why I can't play music is because I can't afford to take off work. I can't afford. So if I was playing, so I understand it from a different perspective now. But the difference is, is that because I don't have what these other bands have, my ego, it's its its no different than that whole stupid argument. It's like, rich people don't need to be rich. It's like, you're just saying that because you're not rich. Yeah, you're if you were rich, you, you, would, you would be yeah. like, what the fuck? I earned this fucking money. What yeah. the? It, no different. It's the same fucking thing. Yeah. I mean, and as a musician, like, like I already know, I've already come to an issue. I don't have to listen to it. It's fine. Yeah. People are going to listen to what they're going to listen to. You can't make people listen to your music. It's fine. I don't care. But how do you cater to that? But it's at the same time, it's like, what is it doing for music? What is it doing for that? I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. But at the same time, I do know that everybody that finds a space that they like to be in, they hate change. Just like we hate change. Everybody hates change. I don't like change. Nobody likes change. Everybody hates change because everybody that didn't like where they were worked their ass off, whether it was physically, emotionally, to be where they're at. Yeah. They don't want to see that 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 comfort change. Yeah. Now, m musically, whatever. I mean, I know, oh, mu music's this and that. It was whatever. But it's like, dude, I, what's going to suck is because there's going to be good bands in the future, but they're going on tour with this band. And I don't, I'm not going to go. Yeah. Because I don't want to see that. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't know. It is hard though being older. So we're going to a show Friday. It should be a good show. I already be know a good it. show. And you know what? It bums me out about it is uh, I'll be like, okay, mm -hmm. I have a job. Yep. We both have full time jobs, mm -hmm. families. I had to take off just to go to the show. Go to the show. <laughs> don't you wish there was two more bands on that show? Yep. There's only three bands. I know. I want there to be two more because I want to make it worth it. I get that. It's no, going to be fun I, I, no matter I what. That. I get because, that too. I get that too. You know, we got Day Spent, which is a local favorite. I, I haven't even seen them yet. So I'm actually no? kind of, no, I'm actually kind of, you know, I'm, uh, I'm intrigued to it. see it. They crush no, it. I haven't seen them. So I, I would, I definitely want to see what, you know, what, but it, I mean, I know it's good, but I just, I want to see it. But um, then we got Cutthroats and there's another band that they're <clears> coming with <throat> um, from uh, California. I don't know who they I are. I forgot. I forgot what it's called, but yeah. But, I want like two more bands on that. I can see that. Even if it was like, I, I would love to see Coldside again. Like, why not? Yeah, yeah, you know. But, um, but there's a part of me that's like, I want a full band. I want a full show. Yeah, yeah I get you. You know. But, yeah, it's it was also very rare, even for local shows, to see less than five. Yeah, I mean four. You know, this four is on the low side. I think four to me is like, I mean, I I can't really think of a time where I went to, but there's also they might not know what bands that might get to open. Yeah. It's like, you know, the last time we saw Cold Side, you know, at the Agnostic Front Show, we didn't know the, the first two bands were ever going to be there. Yeah. So it's one of those things too. But regardless of that, I'm just thinking, like you said, we're, we're, we're in a culture of the whole TikTok culture where everybody's yeah. listening to music and then able to talk about it. Yeah. Online. Go to a fucking show. Yeah. Go to a local. Go if you okay. If you're on TikTok and you love your top like 40s hardcore bands that are like really hot sound right now, find your fucking local venues, find local fucking bands, and go to those fucking local shows. Support yep. those guys, man. Yeah. It is so fucking crucial. You know how they make their money? You buy their fucking shirts. You buy their fucking stickers. Like, it is so fucking crucial for them. Like, Cuddy, right. Unless, like, the Cuddy Boys, like, like, they're on, they're coming from California. I know they're doing well. I'm buying at least two shirts. Yeah. I, I mean, like, but, but that's like, also where we came from is like, well, you know how much that just buying a t shirt yeah, means for gas money. money. But, dude. but now everything's on TikTok. I mean, views. I don't know. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. I haven't found like, so like now, so, on TikTok, so, and you know so, what? So if, if if a popular band, I'm not going to say any particular one in, per, in particular, but it's if they release a video, it gets two and a half million views. Why tour? They made all their fucking money right there. Yeah. What? They made their money because yeah. the amount of money you probably would have had to spend yeah. just to make X amount of money. Why go? Yeah. I mean. 
I know why I would go against that of principle because I would go to every local show if I could. For sure. But I can't do that. I mean, it's just, I'm, I have to be realistic, you know? Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know. Shit's garbage sometimes. Shit is Anyway, you want to hear something garbage. good? I would love to. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure. Okay. Anyway, got, we, were, we were talking got about- one more band up to this, and if this band sucks, I'm stopping it halfway through. No, no, no. And we're listening to a Battery song. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? It's our fucking show, not the world's. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. They can suck my fucking dick. And it stinks right now. I've been working in the yard all day. Oh, mm. I had to fucking cut up all the trees today. Let me smell your dick. Bro, if I unzip my pants right now, you probably could. Yeah. <laughs> I know I farted outsider right? and <laughs> oh, you walked bro. away. <laughs> bro, you clapped the wind, bro. Yep. El Nino. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so I remember a couple episodes ago, I was we were we were talking about um we listened to Jesse from Mr. Signal's band, and I was telling you that yeah. Ryan Morgan, the guitar player from Mr. had a band with a drummer from Fall Out Boy. Yes, you were so talking about that. I, I, it was a hardcore band. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, really yeah, yeah. good. No, but I just thought it would be good. And then we were talking about Comeback Kid, and it yeah. sounds like Comeback Kid. I thought it would be good. Um, yeah, I mean, but, yeah, but it, it'll definitely liven up the mood, at least. Were you at talking least, to Wayne about this at my party? I I might have been. Okay. I don't know. I still can't believe I didn't have a margarita at your party. Yeah, I basically <laughs> bought that machine for you. Uh, anyway, so this is Burning Empires, and it has the guitar player... This actually, I don't even think he plays guitar, but the the singer of the band is the guitar player for Misery Signals, but the drummer is the drummer for Fall Out Boy. Okay, so that's kind of cool. But uh, it's Burning Empire's accomplice, and this is know. old. This is old. Do, yeah, this song came out. What is it? Thirteen years ago. That's what, yeah, that makes that's sense. What YouTube says. Yeah, well, that's also makes sounds about right because they came out like in I don't know after Controller, uh, Misery Signals album came out. Uh, that was what it was. But yeah. Oh god. Oh sh oh fuck. Hold on. I gotta rewind it. That's the drummer of Fall Boy. Yep. That's the bass player for Mr. Smith right there, yeah. There it is. Uh, it's a good octave right there. Good. I guess Stu is in the band too. Okay, so whatever. <laughs> The vocals? The guitar player from Mr. Signals. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Obviously, he doesn't play guitar in the band, but yeah. Did he do other stuff after this? Not that I'm aware of. I love his voice. What a good voice. Yeah. Well, he does back vocals for a lot of Mr. Signal stuff, and it was always very like that flat line kind of higher pitch stuff. I think the guy that put this little collage together thinks that this is Mr. Singles. Because <laughs> it's like, none of these guys, well, like, wow. yeah. <laughs> you remember the B Sharpie on the hand for man? The what? When they would write the B on your hand when you were the band. They never did that for me. No? And they did, I don't remember. I was never also that, that who am I? <laughs> Typically the venue would do it. Very 
very pretty. So, you know, very comeback kitty, you know. But uh, the reason why I wanted to play this was if you listen to the, the vocal patterning, it makes such it's a difference. It, like right there, there's so many different rhythms going on at one time. And yeah. it's, it's... Go back a little bit. I want to yeah. hear what he's saying. It's making it his own. Oh, you want to put caption in? Hold on. Hold on. Captions. I don't think it's gonna work. No, <laughs> I know, but I, I love it. it. Oh, it's not an option. Well, okay, so why was it an option for the other one? <laughs> okay, pause that right there. Can you right feel there. the world changing? But the way he did it. Yeah. Can you, can you feel the, the world but, change? But there wait, was wait, that, that spots between change and ing. Can you that, feel the wild change? That ing. Like that right That's there. That's what was missing from the typecast <laughs> band. Typecast. Take fucking note. Go God back, damn it. Go back on that one more time but, because but, that is so <laughs> crucial, dude. It's so fucking crucial. <laughs> that that shows me that they like hung out because, and they because the riff, jammed together because dude. the guitar part is da, 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 nothing crazy and then but it's a Jane. simple four four over Jane. four yeah. yeah but yeah dude, that, that, that's always the fucking case oh god oh fuck right here. Oh. Exactly. Dude, it's that's, so fluid, man. That's exactly, it makes sense. That's exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. And of course, the repeat, that's fine. It's the same riff. It's fine. The singer is having his own conversation with the band. That's fine. That's literally what's happening. And that's it's what you need, man. Right. But it's not overzealous and it's not taking away from but the But that's what that. I'm saying. Like, when you can take the word changing, right? Mm -hmm. Super simple. And you can make it work with the song for change. If right. that's the emotion or whatever that use the syllables to your advantage. Right. Instead that's, of saying yeah. like make the world changing, it's not gonna work, man. No, it's, no, not, no. it's gonna sound rushed, it's gonna sound bad, dude. But that's exactly yeah. but that's yeah. it's also it's also funny hearing him sing right now because I hear I say I think he had a lot to do with the whole uh vocal uh <laughs> constructing of a lot of measure single stuff too though. Oh, the, the, as far as the patterning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, yeah, it's fine. But still, I could totally yeah. see him, like, in the background, like... Bah. Yeah, well, um, that's the... That, or whatever, well, who would... You know? who, who would uh, yeah, I don't know, but it, it is But as those, a guitar player, because that's what he used to play, like, right. he'd be like, yo, follow me. But even still, yeah. like, okay, so another cool thing that I, I thought was awesome... Oh, let's just finish the song. Yeah. Hand me a beer. Put it behind you. Put the, the, the strap behind you in the back of your head. I can't. It'll fall off. That's why I already tried it. Uh, okay. It's fine. There it is. <laughs> hey, when you crush a whole case. <laughs> hey, okay. so that was Burning Empire's accomplish. Um, accomplish. <laughs> uh, Burning appliances. <laughs> but but you hear what I'm saying, First though. of all, very I, I already know you knew. Yes. But but it's, it's so yeah. wild because if you would have taken that same song, that whole part, yeah. Without the vocal, it would have been the same thing. That would be a cool it. song. That would be a very cool song if he just took like the music out, right? Or took took the vocals out mm -hmm. and replaced it with somebody else. Right. Okay, so you took that song, right? <laughs> How pretty would okay, very pretty song, very melodic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
put somebody else as vocals in it. Tony Soprano. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, well, what? what? Put, put, put a different vocalist in it. Ooh, that's good. Anybody? Oh man. You can put Matt from Boundaries in it. It'd probably sound crazy. I I, I think. I feel bad again. I don't know names. I don't. I don't know. I have to defend the guy from Chamber. Yes, would, would sound oh, nuts Chamber. in that. I think Poison the Well. Uh, you only come before you. Yeah, album would be fucking tits too. I don't know, but it's just weird because you don't know. I, I love his voice. It's very. It, he's got one. He, he, he's he, got, does, he is monotone, range, but he is right? monotone. It's okay, but that's fine for that. Yeah, and you know what? What what makes up for not having that range as far as like going le- like deeper or whatever mm. is the fucking melodic parts in the background because exactly. it, it, it inflects it so much more. Everything is yeah. is everything is Co- cohesive. Yes. Yeah. Everything is complementing everything. Yeah. And yeah. I like with that typecast band, I feel like nobody's going to take me serious with what I look like right now. No. <laughs> this is how it- <laughs> Anyway, I don't say anything. <laughs> no, but I just think, oh, will you take a picture? <laughs> um, but it, but it's so true though because it, man, I, I I don't know. I I really think the vocalist can always always make or break a band. But it's like, man, yeah. I don't know. I hate that we're like shitting. Uh, yes, but like, and they like it. This sucks. Do better, <laughs> dude. Do, do work. better. I don't know. Sorry, do, dude. To me, I hear that. I'm like, okay, you don't like your bandmates. Mm. You don't hang out with them. You don't jam with them. No, you know what? That's exactly what I fucking. That's hear. that's what that's I a, hear. That's exactly what I fucking hear. You don't too. jive with them. You don't. You don't fucking have a relationship. There's no chemistry. That's what I'm getting. At. Or they don't have me in their band to tell them that they're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the guys are just a bunch of pussies and that. Can't be like, hey, man, uh, maybe you should do it differently. Like, no, I got this. You know, no, like whatever. but I'm the same way. Like, I, even with, and again, I have to, like, bring it down to earth every time I edit a podcast that we do. Reality, yeah. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. It doesn't have to sound like anything. It's a fuck, it's two fuck, it's two dudes two talking. Dudes. But it's like, it doesn't have to sound like a master production. No. It's got to sound clean. Sounds good, though. Yeah. But that's the thing. Is I always go back. I'm like, there's something missing. There's something missing here. Well, there's yeah. so, I, I, I think I have, I've always had that in me. And again, like what I was talking about before, but when I was writing music and we didn't have a vocalist present during practice, which I don't think it's uncommon. But mm. with that being said, like, I'm making whatever it is that I hear interesting enough to me where it satisfies the the idea that, oh, no, it's, it, nothing's missing. Yeah. But when I, I listen... I think it's very crucial to have a vocalist, like, almost every... Like, I, I don't know. Like, I enjoy being there. And also, like, the, the, the kind of music... I had to pee after this sentence. <laughs> but like, the, like, for me, like, especially the music that we were doing at that time... Mm. I love being a part of it. I want to be a part of all the components of it. Mm. So, like, I want to hear the drums. I want to hear, like, hear the bass and the guitar together. I want to know what that sounds like together. It because should, that, it, because it, a lot of people, like, downplay the bass, but if the, the bass doesn't sound good with the guitar, it's going to nope. sound like shit. No. Nope. And it, and the bass isn't keeping up with the drums. Is going to sound like shit. Nope. The bass is cool. Nope. You're not. You're dude. not wrong with with what you're thinking. I, but it's I think always it's- like, hey, we got this part. We got this part. We got this part. How do we get from this part to this part? And that was the most fun thing. Be like, okay, play it. All right, play the other part. Play it. And then I think about what I would do for vocally. I'm like, okay, maybe we can do. Uh, uh, do like uh, like a hi hat hit or some like do like some sort of fill right. or a sustain yep. note or something like that. Well, that, and, that, and that's where a lot of other set. bands have had advantages over the time, where they they can actually do pre production, where they write the rough of the song. Yep, and they they scratch tracks. Yeah, and then they can actually like look down, master it. And they can own, yeah. well, they can go. Well, what if we just paused here? Yeah, you know. But again, bands that have you know, higher budgets have that advantage where as a lot of, What's a lot of fucking computer well, generated. But even shit. before then, but like, it would be like, no, uh, we, we paid for four hours 
uh, that's the four hours you have. You don't have time to do uh, yeah. scratch guitar tracks, scratch drum tracks. Yeah. Let's beat map. You better show up with your you, scratch shit. It, you better <laughs> show up. You shut up. I mean, yeah. I don't know. You gotta go pee pee. So. I gotta go pee. You, can the you feel me? Shit? I live right there. Can I go home? <laughs> <laughs> you have the key? Uh, you, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Do I? Yeah. Here. No. <laughs> hey, do you want to do the roulette reel? Okay. This sounds. Hold on. This sucks. This sounds... Yeah, it's very yeah. good. I have to learn the new uh, b patterns. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I'd ever. I don't. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna use the. Uh, what is this? Very much. Uh, I'm just kind of like feeling it out. But I do like this. This this, this sucks. And then this sounds very gay. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So real quick, this is part of the uh, gas station stories. So, so the other day, I think I sent you this, uh, and I'll put it on the screen in post production. So we were talking about this. I sent you this. <laughs> it's it's an SUV parked behind the uh, Dunkin' Donuts by my house, and it's, it's, it says try harder. <laughs> and it says try harder. Okay. So they're trying hard, whatever it is that they're doing. Yeah. 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 Okay. So so Brandy. <laughs> Brandy sent me a fucking picture this morning and she goes, what? Oh my God. They tried too hard. <laughs> <laughs> they went way too hard. The fire started in the back. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Jesse knows the word fire started. Dude, yeah. But what happened? <laughs> now, my thing is they put the. There's back. a lot of like melted shit going on right there. Yeah, yeah, man. It's good. They did a good job. Anyway, so you said you had a song? <laughs> <laughs> it did something. So this mm -hmm. is another one mm -hmm. that I don't really know about. I feel like I've recognized the name a little bit. Okay. The, the name of the band is called Bitterwood. Oh. One word. Um, Sounds like my boner. What are you doing? I'm, I don't know. I'm trying to type it in there. Bitterwood. And the song is called Absolute. <laughs> um, okay. So... Once again, haven't heard the song. If it sucks, we'll stop it. Well, it's two years. Uh, well, it says featuring Pale Face. It says two weeks. It's new. I don't know. Anyway, here it is. <laughs> We're so tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> they haven't paid for the full version of uh, Da Vinci Resolve yet. I know that for a fact. <laughs> So Ghostman <laughs> So Ghostman's their producer, right? <laughs> Checking out the gear, man. The editing. <laughs> I wish we weren't watching a music video because I like the music so far. Look what I paused on, bro. Okay, yeah. so the editing. Is this is weird. okay. So let's just rewind a second. And it's a quick song. One thing that I want to know is Bitterwood. Is I feel like it's this guy, and it says featuring Paleface because he needs Paleface to play the music for him. I because saw pay, Pale Face's drum set. Is that that really that's thing? what I'm saying. So I'm thinking <laughs> it's just some guy. Hold on. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> He's a bass player. Again, I don't hate the music, Coward. but <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Yo, this is for everyone who stood their ground and backed what they believed in. You are nothing, nobody. If you're real, then I'm here. If you're wrong, then stand up. If you're right, then fight back. It's not hard to carry on. Fight a good fight. Fuck the rest! 
Is he playing a Tellers? Yeah, Lisa has socks. Yeah, it's a telly. Which I don't know where that trend comes from. I don't know. I love it. Is that Eminem? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's MGK, actually. Okay. I, Sorry, that was better work. <laughs> you know what I, I love and hate about this episode? It's like, hey. It's like, we we're just trying to listen to some new stuff. I'm trying to do new stuff. It, it all sucks. <laughs> it's not my stuff. Dude, do you want to? Boundaries? Yeah, let's do it. Fuck, you, know, you know what? Because I, I, we will do the wheel next episode because we haven't done it. You're right. In a couple yeah. episodes. I have no more beers left. Fuck. Anyway. Um, I got beers. You can have one. Give, give me one, and let's just do. We'll, we'll close out. We'll close out with uh, the new boundary songs. I don't care. Everybody's like, oh, better. yeah. Well, they're good. Sorry, sorry. It's they're like good, literally, literally, they're literally a good band. Yeah. So I don't know what to tell you. Sorry. Um, uh, if we go back to the last Mohicans over here, oh, I mean, what the fuck? What the? You know, I'm not giving time. Some about. of the music was okay, but no, like, yeah. the video kind of killed it for me. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nah, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Pay for the full version of Da Vinci Resolve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So the guys are probably watching this and like, oh, he's wearing an H2O shirt. Who what the fuck he's in? Okay. I literally don't even know anybody exists. <laughs> dude, I fucking love it. I, I, it's my life. It's a cool feeling sometimes, you know? Uh, it's it's the it, dude, it's the best way to live. Uh the, uh, there it is. Yeah, Armageddon. Is it a music video? This is an official music video five years ago. Hold on. It's <laughs> five days ago, dude. You're, oh. you're just not. I can't see that far away, bro. I'm just saying. <clears throat> I don't have laser eyes like the last guy. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's the right song. Okay. Mm. The song. Yeah. No, I know. It's I, fucking. Yeah. All right. Cool. So this is uh, B- Boundaries. Yeah, Armageddon. I already know. Armageddon. And yeah, it's, know. yeah, it's good. Is there way you can turn me up anymore? There it is. I'm sorry, I don't want to pause it, but it just it's just so unfair. It they're just it, too good. It's they're just too good. It in they probably had the best chemistry of any band. It's, it's not even that, man. I think a lot of it has to do with that. But but what I love about it is we were t- we were just doing the wiggy wacky sounds, you know, early. Yeah. You cannot touch that. No. This right here, this sound. No, no, right no, now, no, no, no. But you but, can't touch no, but, this sound. You saw me tap my left, my left headphone. Same time as I did. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because it, but it wasn't like here it is. But it was a, it, it was, was subtle and it was amazing. Because they listen to it and you're like, it needs something else. Just like we were talking about earlier. It's like there's something missing. Yeah. There's and, something missing, and it was the perfect amount of noise. And, and you know the saddest part about. This we're gonna finish this song, and it's gonna be the best song we've heard all day. Yep. People are gonna go listen to uh yeah, the guy, he looks like the guy from uh Code and Cambria, whatever his name was. <laughs> <laughs> whatever that this sounds very gay. The Enox guy. <laughs> Enox guy. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
I love his voice. <laughs> it's, it's not even fair, dude. It's not even fucking fair. Dude, go back on that. Go back on that okay. a little bit because I, I, like, I want to talk that about that. Is okay. such a cool okay. sound. I want to I want to talk about that for one. Number one, the underlaying wasn't an, was an old school like metalcore thing. Okay, sure. Okay, so early August Prince Red. A lot of bands. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the name, name, That's like, what Justin said. He goes, I'm like, getting the, a lot the, of the August Prince Red on that. Yeah. Bro, but the pos the chuggy posies on the but, but, uh, above it, yeah. but they kept the 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 re, re the. Uh, it's so well put together. Like, how are they pumping these why, out? Why do other bands exist? Yeah, why are except, they except for Jawdust? Jawdust, Knife in the Dark, Boundaries. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> Chamber. Yeah, you know, if if other, other than that, you know, the, mm, go back a little bit. The, get, the gate's there. closed. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, what the it's fuck? It's so good. What the fuck? It's so good. What the fuck was that extra noise at the end of that chord? Okay, I know exactly what they did. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do that shit all the time in my writing. Everything it was good. The banana, and, and it like sustained weird. And, Is it right. just like a weird okay. half pitch harmonic so, kind of shit? Do you want to go into like a riff review? Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, let's sure. go. Because okay, so one thing I like about it. Okay, so the breakdown that we were talking about before, before we pause again, so. Okay, so we're talking about this. So if you listen to it, what they did was awesome. Is they they didn't change the rhythm of the chugs, but they they let it ring out rather than pausing it. Yeah. So they they because with the chug, I mean, it's you can do two things. You just don't or don't. I mean, it's yeah, yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. it's very much that simple. But what they did after it made the riff harder because. Why it didn't seem different was because it was the same riff. Yeah. But it, it layered it into the... Uh, and they're just so good at it. This is why typecasts are listening to boundaries. <laughs> no right here, right here. No so we got the pauses, hey, right? Hey. Hold on. But he does this weird... No. Right, right. No. Right here. Hold on. Yep. Right here. Hang on. That, okay, pause it. Okay, okay. We're, right. ar we're arguing pauses. Yeah, we're arguing like pauses. It. Yeah, it's fine. I'll so put, I'll put he, it right he did, here. He I feel did, like this is exciting. Yes. So he did, <laughs> he went, and then he went into like a chord. Okay, so what he did was, is, right? Yeah, so, like, a, like, like no, are, are you asking me as a guitar player what he's doing? Yes. Okay, so what he did was, he went, so what, like, he did, what, he, what he did was, is, um, so I have a set structured of chord, like, Shapes. That's what they call the shapes that I go to when I when I write. But what? But there is. It's like every every chord has a scale. Everything. Yeah. 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 yeah right. Yeah. So like you could play a G chord or you could play a G scale. I mean, that's very primitive. Depending what key you're in, right, you can but, also play this. Right. Yeah, but yeah. the thing is, is so like for example, I would do a lot of that stuff where you're doing a lot of accentuating of pulling off. It's a pull off, so you're you're basically playing one note, and it you basically take your finger There's off. It's like a dissonant note on right, but note. he's not strumming. I know, but okay. what I'm saying is, is that that was a chord. So what he's doing is, is he's accentuating the pull off of the first three notes, and then downstroking yeah. the rest of the chord. Okay, play yeah. play like just that little bit, <laughs> just right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, said, dude, no, but this I know song is. Tits, dude. Yeah, Bitching. Dude, I, we should just be the Come the Boundaries podcast. Right, I'm about it. <laughs> Listen to her. Yep. The bass slide. The bass. How how much would you how 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 much would you freak out if I actually went home and just recorded me doing that? <laughs> 
that sound? Like, yeah, it's, I would love it. it. No, it's but I'm not saying it's easy, but it's like, dude, I know it's like you know how I, to I do. Know, it. I know exactly what yeah. he's doing. Yeah, you know the mechanics I, of that. I'm a sucker for shit like that. You've always known that, but it's yeah. like, it. Uh, it's the flair that songs need. Yep. Typecast, <laughs> you suck. No salvation. It just gets worse. That it just gets worse. The best tone. The best tone. Such a good chorus, dude. That is such a good chorus. God damn it! The best fucking song okay. ever made. Okay. Like, I swear to God, how do they do it? You, you know what I love about... <laughs> it, it sucks so much because... <sighs> okay, so here's a weird thing that I know me... me I'm going to listen to it again. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> I'm going to listen all the way home. Although, hold on, before... Side note, before we leave here, you need to disconnect your Bluetooth from my truck Agreed. because when I'm following you behind, <laughs> your Bluetooth keeps connecting to my <laughs> truck. I can't do nothing. Um, anyway. Boundaries. But the, the crazy thing about boundaries is that obviously it, it depicts every genre that I love. It's not that they're doing anything new. No, no, no. Right? No, no, no. But, but they're perfecting the right. sound. But, but, if, but if you liked uh, Misery Signals, if you liked uh, August, Burn? no, August Burns Red. If you like Parkway Drive, if you like so many. That's such a weird clump though, but I get it. There's a lot of ABR in that, right? There's a uh, there's some of essence. Of, of course there is. Yeah. But the difference that August Burns Red didn't do is they didn't go in the melodic route. They no. took the metalcore no. route, which is fine. And they owned it. They killed it. Yeah. No, they did. they did. They really did. did. It's fine. It's also kind of weird too because out, out of all the different bands that we like that we show each other that I know you don't like the bands that I like and then I know you don't like, it's weird that we settle on this one. <laughs> this is Which, the perfect band. I, I know. It, it, it's, yeah, it is perfect. Because it, okay, mm. a lot like us, it's kind of like a hodgepodge, a noise, mm -hmm. right? It's a, it, it, it is a hodgepodge of like, you're, you're picking and choosing sounds from a kind of a few different genres, right? Yeah. And you're perfecting it and you're able to uh, choreographic in the best way possible, and honest, honestly, that is a band that if you if you took Matt, if you took the vocalist out of that, it would not be the same band. There's no way the way that that dude vocalizes everything. I'm sure you can throw some old no, you like can't. no no, but, you know, but some no, other but stuff. No. But the way he but boundaries, it, it's part of like. It. But it's weird. It's like when you hear a band. Boundaries is a perfect band. Perfect band. Sorry. Jawdust. I'm sorry. Perfect. Per perfect band. Yeah. yeah. And it's just, it's so wild how it's just like, it's it encompasses everything. Now, and I don't expect everybody to like all these different genres, but it's like, God damn. It's like. It's got to come down to chemistry, dude. Like, at the core root, Boundaries is a band, right? Mm -hmm. They're not a thing, right? They they are a band. They are a group of people that have instruments that play sounds and music together. So the chemistry that they are able to all encompass as a whole unit, that's the product that they make. It's perfect. I would You know love, what I'm saying? I would love. I mean, I I wish I could have been there when you when you met yeah. met them. I would have because I would have loved another dynamic of the band like because it's, how did they all meet? Well, like, not, not even, what before? No, I don't you know? even care about fuck about that. Really? For me, it's who's writing the riffs. Because it's that's kind of how the bands always go. There's always like a one guy that's like writing a lot of the riffs. Interesting. Bring yeah. something to the table and then, you know, it, I'm going to say the bearded dude. 
but I, I, don't, I don't know. know. But th- but that's that's why I want to know. It's yeah. like okay, so I mean, obviously, it's easy for me with Misery Signals. Like uh, Ryan Morgan was a predominant song producer for the band. He wrote a lot of the riffs. He wrote a, a lot of the lyrics. Like I know that. So yeah. it's like I know that dynamic. I would be curious to know. You know, a lot of this. And, you know, it's crazy. You hear that song, and I know we talked a lot about a guitar noise. You forget about the drums. The drums are killer in that song, too. Like, they're tight. They're, 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 they're not overbearing. They're tight. It, <laughs> the whole band is the essence. It's not just like yeah. when somebody says, oh, this is Alex Burnett. Matt Griner is the It's like, oh, what is he doing? Hitting the China? Yeah. Like, you know, I, I'm not saying Matt Griner is a bad drummer. He's no, a fan. No, he, I mean, he's an amazing drummer. But it's just like, it, it, but it, but, August Burns Red has a very set sect of sounds where they say, "Oh, well, here's the breakdown, China." You know, I, you know what I'm saying? Well, I feel like, like okay, so like I feel like the spectrum of, of like a band like August Burns Red, they stick in this lane, right? It's a very small slice. Yeah. When you have a band like Boundaries, they can kind of go in a slice like this. You know what I'm saying? To where they can kind of like we like okay, so the 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 the, the other single that they put out. Wasn't much like this. No, you know what I'm saying. It was. It was a, a great. More of a, it was more of a ballad. It was a great song. It was more of a ballad, I think, to the to the album. But like what you said that episode, I really hope this is a precursor. To I hope a full so. Album. I hope so. And when they came out with this, I'm like, okay, here we go. Let's go. Okay. And, like, and it's, it's awesome like, because I'm not hearing something so different. No, I'm just hearing something new. But from same, them. But at the same time, this is where the vocals come into play. <clears throat> it's like when you hear this song, you don't get it mixed up with their other stuff. You don't hear like whatever. You're like, this is Armageddon. Because no. his vocals, the, his pattern of it as well. And I feel like that's kind of been like the topic of the day. He's got it's a like, very unique voice for yeah. the band. Um, the guitar players are fantastic too. I mean... And I'm saying this right it's now, cool. I would get this passionate about all the other <laughs> bands if you sounded as good. Like, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry, you just don't just sound very good. Yeah, you just don't sound very good. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, I mean, but again, we're, we have a taste and yeah. it meets that. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's... If not, send us your taste. I want to hear it. But yeah. like... S- send us your tits. That, yeah. <laughs> Bitching. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Boundaries, Armageddon, by far. Ah, boundaries. Once again, so like I literally, I listened to it um, Saturday, and I, uh, I listened to it with Justin, and I was like, I put it on again. I'm like, they did, they did it again. We, they wrote another perfect song. I, and I begged you to listen to it. I was like, I, I, oh, I listened to it, but I was in passing. I wasn't like actually like in an element where I'm like, well, I'm listening to the song. Like I heard it, and it was great. I mean, it, you know. Um, yeah. No, anyway, so I hate that we had to, like, kind of revive. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, like, like I it. said. I don't care. Listen. Uh, you want an honest opinion, you get. This hey, is it. Uh, right. well, if you don't want to uh, get a copyright strike like we did in the last episode. <laughs> yeah. I don't want that. <laughs> Just re-upload it two decibels lower. <laughs> yeah. By the way, that's, that's, fine. A, that's a cheat code. You want to get out of here? Real fast? Uh, yeah, let's do, let's, do let's do it. Let's do it. Victory Records. Uh <laughs> What's what's going on, dude? <laughs> Why are you blocking our shit? <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> what's, what's going on? We're just listening to one of your bands. <laughs> what, 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 what did you hear? A thing about manatees? What the fuck? I don't think <laughs> we're even bashing on them either. Like, no, it's because they own the rights to it. I don't care. But it's weird because I didn't do anything except just delete it out of the description. Like, <laughs> oh, that's, they're not playing. Oh, that's, <laughs> they must have took it out. <laughs> yeah. I, live, I live right there. Can I go home? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So Hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Hold on. I want to, I don't want to do it in post anymore. So I'm going to fucking play it. I like that. Yeah. Um, but as soon as you hear the announcer start, start talking, stop. <laughs> the announcer? <laughs> the, the guy from the clip. You know what I'm talking about. You, you don't know the thing. You know, when he says what you just said. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Nothing. Listen, I don't know nothing about that. I love this. I love this. I, yeah. And, even without the drinking, I, dude, I love this. This, yeah. is, this is so much fun. I I do want to do another breakfast episode. I like that a lot, too. To, let's get like a Blackstone and just like make eggs. Dude, <laughs> you kidding me, dude? <laughs> That'd be so tip. That'd be an eight hour long episode. Just, uh, yeah, it'd be bitching, dude. <laughs> I'm just naming the episode bitching. Yeah, I want to bring it back. <laughs> dude, I, it's such yeah. a good term. I, I, I do say gnarly a lot. Yeah. I say gnarly or rad, you know. I've know. been saying tits a lot lately. Dude, I say, dude, I say tits all the time. Yeah. Like, I'm like, dude, this shit's yeah. tits. This shit's tits. <laughs> all right, um, hold on.
I'm currently trying to learn how to organize my sound effects and my files, and it sucks, dude. I am not good at or Would you believe that I'm not good at being organized? That's insane. Uh, hold on. It's probably named... Oh, that makes sense. Year. That was a good one, buddy. Sorry, the other pants suck. Boundaries are so much better than all the Sorry. So you're not what you just uh, said. Uh, boundaries. Talk over it. I don't care. I just <laughs> things I've ever heard. Uh, oh, At no man. point. Blacklist is good though. Fuck it. Yeah. Were you even uh, close? To and anything? I like downswing too. That Downswing's awesome. I mean, and that song. new trader song, you know, Everyone for the beat down genre. That's is now I like that too. For having listened. It's mostly just tight cast. You suck. I yeah. warn you, no points. Yeah. And I better what it wasn't all that great either. If you don't have the training, it ain't gonna work. You're gonna flop. No one's going to come over. Because you have been. You know, it's just things are going to happen. 